Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quest and Chaos. Tonight is Tuesday, and that means Chaos Agents, and we are back. Really, we are back. We're here. After uh, being gone for way too long. I am with these wonderful people on the screen beside me over there. Nope, over there. I have to say, my Not perspective, really. looking at yes. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, got I have no idea where anyone is. but Yeah. You're under uh, me right now, from my perspective. But in above the... you <laughs> to okay. them. So it's 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 all over the place. I'm above all y'all from my perspective. So <laughs> it's because she's got Lyra. God, God damn it! Oh, <laughs> How, uh, so we're gonna start off with I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of movie talk. So let's talk about Thank no, God. Thank we have fifth element. Let's do that for one of the oh, Wednesdays when we don't we don't have board games. Just let these guys rip on movie talk for a while. That would be I'm, nice. You don't have to like stream it, but you can. <laughs> <laughs> so uh first what we really want to do is we want to thank gordon Biersch, uh keeping myself lubricated uh here at the studio running through our our supplies that have been hoarded uh uh over the last month gordon Biersch, are you Biersch in it <laughs> gordon carving Biersch, up the you? company corpse <laughs> <laughs> gordon Biersch carving up the company corpse yeah well, that's i love it <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no idea if we're going to get more because I, I uh, you know, Bo definitely said that they were an essential business. They are. Um, they they are. Still, God still damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm the one who makes those decisions, so that's good. Hello. I'm all for it. <laughs> huh. All right. So uh, the other thing that is going on, yeah, our other uh, sponsor, if you will, is Nord Games. Exclamation point Nord Games in the chat. They have three really cool PDFs that are out right now. So they, they have these books that are kickstarted and done. And in the situation that we are in right now, uh, they can't get them printed at the moment. Uh, they're, they are waiting to hear back and going to send them to the printer as soon as they possibly can. However, they have them for sale as PDFs on up their website, on their website. And if you use our affiliate link, uh, it helps us out. And if you use KAC20, check out, you get 20% off. So that is a pretty big savings on three PDFs. And I definitely want to thank whoever bought three PDFs from them this morning using our affiliate link. Uh, no I way. Got, I got nice. Um, it's brilliant. Um, thank you. Have some uh, interesting stats uh, that uh, we will share in our next staff meeting. Uh, whenever we have that <laughs> we have those uh yeah well the state yeah. of the state anyway just we have a one. newsletter just the one <laughs> just the <laughs> one meeting actually i finally read that newsletter at the, at the time <laughs> oh my god who are you and what have you done with aaron right <laughs> i'm a zombie <laughs> nice. um so uh so first off i i want to uh kind of thank everybody for coming back joining us uh live it Actually, it feels really good to be back here. Um, I want to thank our Patreon uh, patrons over at Patreon. Um, we actually uh, wrote out the list to uh, talk, but uh, I don't have it in front of me right now. And I don't want to leave anybody off of, off of it. But there are 10 or 11 or 12 amazing people who have joined our Patreon. Uh, and uh, very familiar names to all of you. A couple of, new, uh, a couple of newcomers there as well. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed here on Twitch. That also helps us monetarily get through uh, paying rent here at the studio, which is now uh, my side business had been covering a lot of, and that kind of all dried up. So we're doing well, thanks to you guys uh, for uh, donating bits, uh, subscribing, sharing, watching us on YouTube without an ad blocker. All those things help us uh, telling your friends. Um, but That's most great. importantly, the main thing you guys can do for us is what you're doing now, uh, being part of our community and watching and joining us, talking to us in the discord, sharing, you know, your stories with us, sh sharing your, you know, your art, your drawings, uh, and your characters and just being part of this community, which really is amazing to me that you, we are all part of this thing. So I really want to thank you guys for that. All right. 
with that Thomas. Nobody said, else oh is my around. God, yes. Totally alone here. That was glorious. <laughs> yeah. so, it was my birthday yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Happy was, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That was fun. And and uh, I, I noticed that the cast was of the of the mitten was dressed up a certain way. So I, I made sure I got one of these for tonight. Nice. nice. Wear that in, in honor of that. Thank you guys. You guys <laughs> It's good to be back with y'all. Seriously, it's, it's really good to be back. Like, ah, this this little bit of of normalcy is it's incredible. As normal as we can get under the circumstances. I did say little bit of normalcy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll still find a way to scream in all your ears. I know you will. But there's a reason <laughs> I'm not wearing headphones today. <laughs> well, two reasons. Those look great. Thank you. And the other, and, and, and the third reason is I, I was doing it for four days a week for like four to five hours a day. I was like, I can't do this anymore. The sound is no different. I can't keep doing this. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I glue yeah. them on? <laughs> my when job discovered... is- Sorry, go ahead. But with, 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 my, with my audiobook work, I definitely like live with my headphones on most of the time anyway. So I was like, I, I, I need to take a break. If I pass out in this chair, just kind of scream and wake me up. This is my comfort zone. I'm in my bathrobe. I'm, I'm just like, yeah. It's a quality oh, bathrobe, too. It looks really thing fluffy. Is, yeah. This thing is so nice. But it's real good in winter. I'm at the age where, you know, you don't spare expenses on things like bathrobes and pillows and slippers. Like no. You just go the deluxe edition of all that self-care <laughs> stuff. Like, spare no expense here. <laughs> you know, it's uh, nice. There are age for that? Time. I have no idea how to use a phone. Oh, That's cool. Ridiculous. I don't think I can help you with that, mate. <laughs> My parents text this way. One, just the index okay. finger jabbing the screen. Did we just get like a <laughs> subscriber blast? Did what? I'm not looking at anything, so. A panthrope? Uh, yes, we did. A panthrope, like nine? Thank you so All much, right. man. All right, so, uh, so since Person? this is happening, we'll start here. Uh, I'm assuming you guys have four inspiration left over. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we usually thank you. Do. I wrote it down. It's in my notebook, but I think it's four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can. So, Aaron, I could go look, and then it would tell me. No, no, no. I erased it. it I, I, it's four. <laughs> trust me. It's four. Let's just let's just roll with that. It's been a month since we were last here. So, yeah, thank so, you so much. So we are going to we're going to uh, top it off with uh, with the person that started it all this whole bits thing is Ren Camo Ooh. with 500 bits. I'm going to just give it to you players. Thank, thank you, you so Ren much. Camo. Thanks, Eli. So if you remember back, way back when we started, Ren Camo was the first person to start uh, giving us bits. So yeah, and, thank and, you. Uh, and now they're working on editing the tall halfling for me. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I, I, my goal is to get that out sometime next month, but we'll see how that works out. Very cool. Um, speaking of that, Duke, uh, exclamation point, Duke in the chat gets you a link to Duke League's books on Amazon. What? Yeah, That's awesome. Yeah. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Duke. Mm -hmm. yeah, ah, Duke, shit. Duke, he's written books. Duke. And now you're going to have to read, Warren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or wait until they come out on audiobook featuring Tiana, I'm sure. Uh, the lead character's male, so it probably won't be me. Oh, okay. Well, I'll throw my voice into the, the ring. A cool. simple courier assignment. <laughs> Something tells me it's going to be anything but. Uh, it always is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up is Tamagotoro with 1,000 bits. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank thank you. you. It was super fun playing uh, the Loxodon yesterday. I kind of want to keep that character around, too. Emma Font. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Emma Font awesome. Prime was yep. the full the full title. Emma Font Prime. Mm -hmm. uh, next, followed up by Squeal the Bard with 500 bits. Thank you so much, Squeal. For Always the players. A pleasure, sir. All of these Always for the players so far. Thank you. Uh, until they aren't. Until they aren't. Because is is Heifer yes. up? <laughs> until they aren't. Because we have 1,000 bits. From the Baroness, for me. No. Uh, Are you play. serious? Yes. I feel so That's betrayed. <laughs> but, My heart. <laughs> uh, thank you. Not thank to you. be, uh, you know, also 500 bits to you guys. All right. So thank you for thank that. You. And 
you know, we don't usually like to call out uh, individuals here, but we have 2,500 bits for the birthday boy himself, Bosey Williams from Tamago Tora. What? Nice. What? Tony. Thank you. Thank you. You guys cannot have my bits. Those are mine. Okay, fine. You keep track of your five bits then. No, no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so that brings it up to 14 for us. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so I, much. I, I have no idea. <laughs> he should have called you birthday bow instead. Oh. That's my only complaint. Oh, the pun. It's missed opportunity. Own. Is it? Is it? I thought it was wordplay. <laughs> Well, he did say for the birthday bits, and you know, who knows what that means. Oh, (laughs) he does. Bowen bits, yeah. Tony knows exactly what that means. (laughs) Bowen bits go hand in hand. (laughs) Oh, that's real good. That's real good. Well done. Can that be our next shirt, Tom? That's great. Oh, come on. Yes. (laughs) You say Bowen bits go hand in hand? Yes, Yes. it's hilarious. (laughs) I love it. That doesn't need to be our next shirt. (laughs) Only one shirt. (laughs) <laughs> no, no, that should never. So we then get uh, King Shikamaru. Shikamaru? For 1,000 bits to Bo's good help. Thank you. Thank, I'm very glad to be Your help, to sir. Up yes. And, and well, thank you. Thank you so much. Then we had, uh, as you said earlier, a subscription bomb. Wow. From a panthrope. We we went through this yesterday, and not knowing how to say it, so <laughs> you can help us out. Uh, a panthrope with ten gifted subs. Thank you so much. That is wow. awesome. Thank you. A bunch of new people scrolling Lots through the chats. People. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I've missed that voice. <laughs> it's been right. a while. Uh, and then we have also from King Shikamaru one thousand bits for Uzo's magnificence. <laughs> oh, oh. The bits for the bits. It's for the, the bits. bits for the there bits. Go. <laughs> Got a good quality <laughs> webcam for some reason. Really high quality webcam warm. No. <laughs> so if we go poking around on OnlyFans, we might find we might find Uzo. <laughs> Or at least his magnificence. Not sure you can see much yeah. else. <laughs> um, still going around from the okay. same individual, King Shikamaru, 1,000 bits to Aaron and his awesome character. Yes. Thank you. So, I mean, this this is, uh, this does seem like a new name to me. So, thank I, you for joining us. I've not heard this one, us. so hi. Yes. Uh, thank you. Seems Repeat. to be a number of new individuals in the chat. Ooh. Welcome. However, an old, an old favorite, Duke Fleeg with 500 bits for Andraste. Thank you, Your Grace. grace. And oh my, oh my, I'm out of bottle caps. I can make, I can make more though. I was like, (laughs) I can help you with that. I have a box sitting literally arm's reach from me. I was like, that's what I've been forgetting. Uh, (laughs) Bottle caps? (laughs) I haven't been saving them, damn it. (laughs) We have so many that we have been saving, seriously. Yeah. So okay, well, yeah, there, there are piles at my house. There are piles here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, next time I, I make a cookie run, I'll have to stop yes. in. Nice. We have uh, 1,000 bits to the best DM. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and, and, and uh, since it's this show, I'm going to say I'm the only DM. <laughs> uh, the best DM. Here, like currently. For you this, got four uh, sitting here right now. I was just yeah, thinking right. that. That's kind of cool. And probably should save those bits for Amy because I think that's who they were intended for. <laughs> the best, yeah. <laughs> I was that last night. Oh, that it was, was really madness. fun. It was fun. It was great. Amy yeah. is a gracious DM. I expected her to be a sadistic slaughter demon, but she was very. <laughs> she was I mean, no. She was really like fair. It, it was cool. definitely Stick challenging, but but we all survived. No thanks to people trying to rip clocks off of walls. Nice. Yeah. So Loxodon uh, are Black. curious people. Yeah. Mm. You know? <laughs> man you guys were so close you guys uh, that's, that's what so makes close. me so angry i was i i had the right answer i just didn't put it the right way i asked why are we doing nine fifty 
nine forty five, three fifteen. I got it in theory, but I was just like, uh, it's one of those things. Are we overthinking this? You, 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 yeah. you, you, you didn't, you didn't tell me what I, what it was that, that you wanted to do instead. I, w- I would have been like, oh yeah, that makes more sense. Me and yeah. Tamago Toro were talking the entire time in the Discord. It was like, look, these guys are screwed. I'm gonna wild shape. I am out of here. Like, don't worry, Emma. Emma Fant will live on. <laughs> nice. Uh, so uh, for for those of you watching, uh, the answer was, uh, you know, you had to set the north to 12 o'clock, the east to 3, the south to 6 o'clock, and the uh, west to 9 o'clock. So. And, 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 it, and it was midnight or noon, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock, not like I thought, 3, 15, 6, 30, right. so, so that all of the, the hands were pointed in the same direction. Yeah, I, honestly, you probably, you probably could have figured it out in the time allotted, but I, in the timer, because I started the timer. Late. <laughs> so you guys were really close. I was watching mm-hmm. the stream, uh, so I could see the timer link. Nice. Even though I wasn't so, supposed to. I don't know, there are no rules here. <laughs> there are no rules. There's so uh, check your email. Up. Is it in your junk? You get the uh, rules. Maybe. <laughs> it's with the newsletter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, speaking of that, uh, almost missing something. Something. Five hundred and eight bits from Squeal the Bard. Uh, we'll give that to you guys uh, because I missed it. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, yes. Ben. Thank you, Thank everybody. Um, so we are. To- Currently at 22 inspiration, um, we might need it <laughs> because we left off in a really interesting situation. Don't worry, if there's a boulder, I'm your man. No, you're man. not, you've proven that. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Makes you dead once. <laughs> it did kill you. <laughs> it did kill you, that's the problem. Uh, dang it, and, and because I do miss things all the time, we have uh, King Shikamaru with 1000 bits, two mom drops there to round out the team. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that is awesome, especially here on the very last day of the month. Thank you so really, much. Really appreciate it, all of that. All right, and we are now back into the story. Last time on Chaos Agents. Uh, ship blew up, lots of people died. Uh, you saved all of your crew. Uh, well, 95% of the crew. Anyway, uh, Jensen Are you talking lost about Jensen's leg? leg? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, because a cannon came shooting, two cannons came shooting through the wall into the belly of the foxy uh, phoenix, the irregular phoenix, uh, causing a lot of damage. Uh, you guys sprung into action, um, jumping overboard, saving crew members, casting healing spells, um, stabilizing people, um, collecting the dead uh, for later. That was me. Stand by. We were all like, where did that come from? Yeah. We all just hoped it wasn't us. Uzo <laughs> wanted to give you all a reminder of the sacrifice we make when we make silly engagements. We must be very, very cautious because there are other lives at stake other than us, which is why we chose to disembark and take the dinghy to the mainland. Yeah, well, that, that that reminder very nearly broke on Draste, so well done. Um, so that being the case, uh, you patched up the ship enough where it's going to be able to limp along uh, slowly, too slow to go and save Bard and Thorn uh, back to Saltmarsh. You decided, uh, Remy, you knew that there is a 50-50 chance of even making it, making it across the open ocean in a small dinghy. That's right. Yes. But you did say it would take a, what, a third of the time. So yes. one day as opposed to the three. Indeed. As we're going at like 12 knots. Or motorboat. God, I was trying not Thank to you. go there. Captain. Williams. <laughs> it's good to be back. It's so good to be back. Oh my God. So uh, you guys loaded up onto the small dinghy and uh, bosun ruckus Both adeptly men. competently uh affixed the decanter of endless water to the bottom of the boat our back rear of the boat to make it into a speedboat um where you will make really good time and that is where we left off with you guys 
departing the Foxy, the regular Phoenix, and <laughs> an intuitive and, name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, and, it, Fox we Phoenix. Foxes, we 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 has the fox as the figurehead. I can see him. <laughs> and launching your way across the open ocean. The decanter is tethered to my robe. It is used a piece of rope um, in addition to holding it. So like if no, somebody accidentally lets go. No, it's strapped, it's strapped it's strapped to the, dinghy. to the boat. It's strapped really firmly to the dinghy because Rutkus did a really good role for that. Yeah. Definitely not. But it is also <laughs> tethered to me. I oh. can get it. Okay, you, you have me at, you have Ruckus at your beck and call whenever you want me to grab it. No, I mean, there's no there's no grabbing necessary, Ruckus. Like, there's a little slack on it from it to me. We're not losing this fucking thing. I don't care what you say. <laughs> so, remind me. I, I, I woke you guys up as we were going into the, uh, the, the, the little pass. Did you guys finish that long rest? Yes. Because I don't think no. we did. No, nobody. Yes, we did. I, I, I think I was the only one who finished a long rest before we went into the combat. So we said we were going to take turns and rest on the on this trip. Yeah. So, um, yes. Yeah. Oh so yeah, and, 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 I, and I fully intend to be like you. You you lot go to sleep. <laughs> so whoever wants to rest, uh, as you take off in the middle of the night. Um, Andres, do you probably need to be up for this to navigate from the stars uh, with your dark vision? I thought the sun was rising. Oh, that's right, it was. Okay. It was a month ago. <laughs> it was a month ago. And then oh, the fact you. that I remember that at all is kind of a shock to me. <laughs> so, uh, whoever is going to rest, give me a constitution saving throw. All right. This is, we're doing this then. And, oh, does this mean I have to be over in roll 20? Yep. Yeah. Or you can just trust what I tell you. Oh yeah, what does? Uh, well, it... <laughs> I rolled an eleven. All right. Next. <laughs> so, uh, with an eleven, uh, it is. It starts off uh, pretty smooth. Gets a little bumpy, but you're able to. By the time that the the waves really start hitting the boat, you're well asleep. Aaron, you, however, uh, do not get a long rest. We can we can drop an inspiration to, to add a d6 to that. <clears throat> hold on, though. Hold on. Being... Aaron, Aaron, what is your con? Uh, oh, constitution yeah. is plus three. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, neat. You're fine. It's over 10. So That's if sweet. you roll over 10, so you can do uh, 1d20 plus three, and then I'll give you a total. Anyway. All right. Did... Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Roll, roll, roll 20, 20 is not terribly intuitive. It takes a little while to get used to. All right. So uh, nobody has trouble getting a long rest. All Excellent. right. I rustle the just puts, puts me, puts me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I rustle so in bed a little. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cramped quarters. Um, it is not a big skiff or boat or, you know, it's got oars and, a you know, it's got a motor in the back now. Jet, jet, it's a jet ski basically. Uh, so you guys is. are, are you guys are moving across? Um, you guys finish your long rest about four hours, and you wake up, um, and you are heading off. Totally open ocean at this point, um, Andraste. You are using the position of the sun to keep you headed in the right direction, mm -hmm. um, and eventually. After roughly eight to ten hours, as it starts to get dark again, um, you see uh, uh, a squaw coming up, a, a clouds forming in your path, and a storm brews. Um, and go. this is where I would like Captain Remy mm -hmm. to make uh, a D20 roll, please. You do have advantage on it. Is someone um, doing, is someone doing a drum roll? Advantage? No, that's that's bow typing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my mic is literally right next to my keyboard. No, I wish someone was doing a drum roll. That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, sorry, what was the command for advantage? Uh, 
ro- slash roll two d twenty k h one. Two d twenty space k h one. Head crab, maybe. Space or no space? I don't know. Here we go. We'll find out. One of them. There it is. All right. So as you continue through, uh, the waves get bigger and more dangerous, and it gets colder um, as the night progresses. However, maintaining course, uh, you manage to skirt along the edge as it travels uh, to the east, and you uh, manage to get through without capsizing. And you are now, cool. stars are out on the other side of this squall line, uh, open ocean, and you are making your way quickly, you think, towards Salt Marsh. Did we sleep through that? So we wake up like, oh, uh, uneventful night, thanks. Uh, you woke up before, before that, that happened. Okay. Well, now that that particular scare seems to have passed for the moment, I think I need to get some rest so I can get us through the night. That ex- right there is exactly why I said there was like a 50% chance that we would make this. Have our odds just gone up? I think we're through the worst of it, and I, I agree, know. Andraste does need some rest. I think you should knock on wood, Captain. Well, there's plenty here to do. And I'm going go, go, go to go up to like the front of the dinghy, making my way through carefully, and just like curl up and, go, and try to get some sleep. I'm going to knock on wood. <laughs> You're right, Yuzo. I shouldn't be too uh, quick to accept this as victory. We have a, a journey ahead. Thank you. Any idea how much longer? Um, uh, we, we've been at it for the better part of a day. Sun's starting to go down, so I mean, it should be through, pretty close, right? Through the night and with the with the new dawn, we should be there. We don't see it cresting though in the distance. Uh. I don't think at the moment, no, but you think you're getting close. Okay. During this time, we let Andros stay rest, and I'll take the helm. Um, Uzo looks over the side of the boat. Does he see any fish, dolphins, seals, anything? Perception check. All right. Oop. <laughs> That's going to be a no. I'm plus not gonna, anything? Plus I'm anything? Not, I mean... That that was it. That's plus, a Chris two. plus three. So That's a five. Fine. Yeah. That's uh He's just... He's zoned out. He's trancing into the water. <laughs> no, but somebody does have their chat beep on. So you could find that. I, 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 I found it. I turned it off. I think that was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I Chad. had like six of them on before. I'm like, oh, turn them all off. <laughs> I have not adjusted any settings, so I don't know what that is. Crank them all up. But you also have your headphones in, so we probably wouldn't hear it. Fair enough. All, all right, right. So, so I'm I'm, I'm going to curl up in, in, the, in the front of the dinghy and get some sleep, or try to at least. See how that works out. Okay, perfect. Um, anyone else doing anything during this time? So I have had a long rest from that. Then. You do have a long rest. I can stay up then the rest of the night to help with the ship then? Yes. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uzo is going to stay up and look at the stars and just kind of like run his hand in the water every so often, but not really do too much. Just kind of stay vigilant as he can. I am um, holding on to Kumara, holding on to the, the boat, directing us where we're supposed to be going. Um, trying to have a mental conversation with Kumara while Uzo is is there in front of him. Okay. I'm, like Are you looking at Uzo? I'm, I'm looking forward up towards there, and every now and then I'll glance at Uzo for sure. I want to perceive if he if Uzo notices him looking at me. Trying to be nonchalant about it, so... Alone. So that is a uh, sin, uh, it's not is it still stealth? Yeah. 
deception or something? Deception. Performance, deception, something. Performance. Uh, deception. deception. And insight. Insight. All right. So you're going to roll insight, Warren. So that is going to be a 13 for me on the insight. Twenty-two. All right. <laughs> Fuck. No. So, Bo is nope. very. Uh, it just looks like he's uh, in deep thought. And I'm saying, Kumara, what is going on here? You have been silent for far too long. I feel like we are being played with. And I don't like that feeling at all. These are my friends. And honestly, I want to know who this Denda is for real and how you serve them. If it's Bahamut. And secondly, what is Baga? You had to ask these questions. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, is Baga again? No, I'm kidding. You're going to ruin all the surprises. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> I. Uh, I am the key. The key that will help unlock Dendar. And how did you come to be in this sword? How did you come to be? I do not know. I have been, I was. Were you created to be a key? And that is what you are at your core. Is that your reason for being? I, I think so. I was, that is my first memory of being beneath that city. Beneath. And the woman who eventually found Uzo walking me out into the world. From there, I was passed to an individual, a young child. We bonded, we did some good things together. But he was, well, yes. We slew evil creatures. We grew in power. Until one day he bit off more than he could chew. And he died. Sounds like a warning to me. Potentially, yes. Come on, I would never bite off more than I could chew. You know that. (laughs) You have certainly done that, but you have also come through the other side stronger. Strength is what we need. Opening opening the lock will not be easy, and it will potentially kill all of you. So why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, Kumara? Why why must we free Denda? And what does it have to do with Uzo? Uzo is, well, was the next in line, the next person chosen to attempt to free Dendar. Many have tried, not all have used me, others, uh, like Uzo himself, has no need of a sword like me. 
And they find their own packs. And does who? Look out. Maga is Dendar's son. Dendar has a son. Yes. I need to know this. I've never not trusted you before, but we have heard this tale told to us in so many different ways. I need to know that I can trust you here, Kamara. You swear to me on our bond that Bagar is Dendar's son, not Bahamut's, Dendar's. I am not allowed to say that name, but I would if I could. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The Dendar other. The Dendar has not old. been seen. The Night Serpent has not been seen for many, many years. You are traveling on a path laid out by the gods. But you, your path is winding and changing and growing at your own pace. None, none before have ever reached the level of power you all seem to have. If I have my way, this is only the beginning. We will survive. We will grow in power, Kumara. And if we don't like what happens when I turn this key, we will see to it that it is taken care of. I would, uh, I do not know what happens to me once I open the lock. Well, then that sounds like some information that we should get beforehand. Yes. But whatever happens to me, I... I feel the powers are in the sword, and I am along for the ride. I thank you for your candor. And it means a lot to me to be able to trust you. Since you are a part of the team, part of me. Uzo is the strongest one yet. Well, I mean, we, we'll see about that. You don't want to <laughs> say that to me. Yes. Medusa has good instincts. Are we going to meet her? I believe so. She hmm. seems... I don't know if I can trust her, Kumara. Do you trust her? I do. She is. Because you were, because you were built to, because you were, you were made to, or because you actually do? She passed me along to those that needed me. Those that, ne her. that Dendar needed. So you got to know her? Briefly. She and is how... more than, than she seems. Very well, I think I've interrogated you long enough. Thank you again for being a dear friend. I will 
do everything I can to make sure that your essence is preserved, no matter what we have to do tomorrow. You're part of me. I will always be part of you. Thank you. It's beautiful, isn't it, Uzo? The sunset. Mute. <laughs> yes, it is very pretty. I have not seen very many, but I do appreciate the ones that I now get to embrace. Sunset and sunrise, all equally magnificent. What did you think of them before you were actually able to see one? I missed most of them, but the warmth of the sun and the chill of the night I could tell what time of day it was as a result of the changing temperature. I, I, the spectacularness of what I actually behold does not do the tales justice every time. Hmm. I'm glad to hear it. You have a very unique perspective. Uh, thank you for that, um, Captain. Yes, it's something that... Uh... It's something that I, I definitely appreciate about you, Uzo. You have, you have a very different perspective on the world. I think it's come in handy for our, for our teammates, our friends. Um, but I trust that you will ho that you will learn to trust that perspective yourself when it comes down to survival, because. I haven't made it this far in life by being a fool. That is for damn sure. Well, I don't know what is going to happen to us or what journey we are on for you or your God, but uh, I'm behind you and I will be there right to the, right to the very barrier. That's if that is what you want. I want all of us there because no matter what happens in the challenges ahead, we can all meet it together and we have the best chance of survival together. And my agreement is to make sure that nothing happens to you as a result of me fulfilling my end of the bargain. And I can only guarantee that if you're there with me, I've Ooh. come not to trust gods. I wouldn't trust them either. So I don't want some got you moment mm. when the time calls for it. I agree. Especially gods masquerading as other gods. Mm. Very much so. I had a conversation with Androste that was less than pleasant um, because of the deception of gods causing me to seek out the one, the true one named Enda. What did you find? That I am still searching. Hmm. I did not find him, but I made it very clear that trickery would not be tolerated. I, I know I am a mortal threatening our God, but I will give them every ounce of hell that I have. Hmm. Well, then well, I will at least be with you at that time. I think together nothing is impossible, my friend. I agree. Which is why I'm setting our sights now on Arden Thorn, my captain. It took it was a hard decision to leave the ship and to go. And uh, you came, you, you did. And I, I appreciate that. I would not have let you all off on this adventure by yourselves. And joining, leaving the ship behind was the right decision, given the carnage that we brought with it the last time. It is a heavy burden we bear. 
that lesson? I I want to help you on your quest for the captain. But I don't know this man. I will not risk my life and Roste's life or Ruckus's life for it. But I will be there to protect you. So don't do anything foolish, please, Remy. <laughs> I can only promise to do my best. The thing is, I know Captain Thorn. I have done my best to live up to his example of a captain. And I am still learning. And I really appreciate that you are the first mate with your very unique perspective, giving me what I need to think about and taking care of the things that I can't think about like that. This, the person we are going to rescue is the man who taught you how to be a captain. He taught me what a captain is. I forgive me for being tentative in wanting to actually meet this man. <laughs> I suppose that's fair. Uh, I suppose that's fair. Uh, though I will say in his defense, uh, I have yet to fully prove myself as he did time and again. So trust me when I say he is a much better man and captain than I. Easy enough to believe. Well, then you'll have to see it. <laughs> and that's fine. I'm fine with that. We can all see it together with you making sure that I don't do anything stupid. Uh, uh, making sure you don't get us killed. I cannot stop you from doing stupid things, clearly. That's true. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We should be there by morning, so... I've gotten a long rest. I can stay watch until we get there. I am not tired. Okay. Well, Anybody else uh, can be awake at this point? Yeah, I will have woken up at this point somewhere toward the tail end of that conversation, I think. Yeah. Uh, it, it is not a big boat, so you heard as much as you need to hear. Aaron? Yeah, I ruckus? woke. <laughs> no, uh, ruckus. Uh, I woke up, yeah, passively, and kind of caught the end of it. As, but I, I look tired. You know, he's not. It's like a teenager being woken up. You know. <laughs> Pre dawn hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Morning, so sleepyhead. Oh, wait, sorry, oh, go ahead. Up. <laughs> you too. You too so, seem uh, nice. Uh, actually, a good question uh, Tamagotora brings up. Are you wearing your armor? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Uh, Uzo is too, isn't he? Well, I, I vaguely remember. Because <laughs> <laughs> planning this, I was like, did I bring Bryn? Don't we have a tank uh, of octopi on the ship as well? On no, the little it's broken. On the little, uh, uh, yeah, because Bryn doesn't have a place to be. We are also moving really fast. Like, it would be yeah. very hard for you to catch up with the boat if you went off the boat with Bren and came back out. No, I, but just kind of like to take it off, take it back on whenever that is. Um, we dispel magic. So, so, so Bryn was on the ship, um, in the, in the bucket. Uh, I don't know if you brought Bryn, but, uh, we will retcon that you guys would have realized that. Uh, you know, after immediately having that and not having a month in between <laughs> to Makes remember sense. things, so we will we will say that uh, you had the opportunity to take it off if you wanted to on the ship. Would have done that, yes. But mm -hmm. yes, I'm gonna during the first break. I'm definitely gonna try to skim through the YouTube video. And be like, did I tell him to move over and make room for Bagal? No, I'm pretty sure you didn't. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna straight up peel it off. <laughs> if I, if I can. Uh, th I mean, there are so oh, there aren't spell slots, but there are spells. So. Oh, there uh, are spells. I just need to, you know, rearrange a couple of things because now that I've had a long rest, did I get a long rest? Please. Yes, you did. And <laughs> Uh 
<laughs> you know what? Uh, it's just uh, one of you just give me a luck roll real quick. 11 or higher, and you in the past had in taken it D20 off. roll. You, why? There's an option. 14. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Aaron, just don't go to the menus. You're just going to confuse yourself. Don't I literally confused. haven't, though. I okay. know exactly what to roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, the two of you both, uh, uh, you know, saw Bryn over there and was like, oh, yeah. And you were able to actually do it inside the ship because there was salt water everywhere. Well, it was there. Uh, so, you guys are armorless at the moment. And. It is, in fact, uh, very early in the morning um, when you see the stars on the horizon start to disappear in that you are coming upon a landmass. Oh, there it is, I think. You do know that the sun will be rising soon. And... You're racing against time. Um, so as, as we're coming in um, here, how far away do we think we are now? Um, so you're a mile or two out. Okay. Um, you see a coast, you know, what you assume to be a coastline. Um, as you get closer and closer um you start to things come into uh sort of vision uh so you see uh it is uh, a pretty big landmass not um i mean it is an island yes but it is also well, very large uh into you know a you know a huge landmass like new zealand is an island but it's also you know huge uh and Coming in uh, from your direction, um, you kind of skirt around, uh, and according to the map, where it is on the southern end, uh, you come around that southern end, and um, in the distance, even though it is dark, you see torches uh, on what you soon to be a pier, uh, but you actually see pinpoints of light moving from what you think are probably the docks or the ocean into uh, a small village. I send Winthorpe away, assuming that I think we're far enough away to where he could go do some recon for us. Okay. Uh, Winthorpe flies around. Does he have dark vision? He's an owl. He does, right? He's an owl. Yes. <laughs> Guaranteed. Uh, uh, Uzo turns... Describe what you see when you see it. Would you say we're in within 100 feet or? Um, no, but if you want to be, you can. Uh, I, I want to judge at how safe it is, right? So I want to continue going forward with him, looking through um, Winthorpe's eyes as Winthorpe is uh, ahead of us about 100 feet. Okay. But All does right, it we'll matter? Ooh, a screen. But does it matter though if Winthorpe dies trying to get information? What I mean, in the long run, no, but I'd not like to have Winthorpe suffer that. Yeah, I but I mean, and he also it takes, I can only do it uh, I once every hour. Don't it takes an hour. think a lot of people are targeting owls for just for killing. Are they? Is that a thing? I, and Roste? I, I think he'll be okay. But why would Why start. would I know what salt marsh would do? I've never I, in the woods. Maybe people hunt owls or something, but they I haven't heard of owl stew or not owl. Not particularly. Yeah. We... I think he's fine. No. <laughs> I just realized I can't hear a word you're saying because I'm in Winthorpe right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, phrasing. Mm. Hey. <laughs> um, all right. So trying to trying to do this all all over the place is not easy. You also got two so, tabs open. 
I, I completely understand Thomas running Salt Marsh with this while, while also like DMing. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. And then add streaming on top of it. It's like, ah. yeah, I was lucky that I didn't have to deal with that Jesus. aspect. This is awesome. So, um, so what you see or what, so Winthorpe eventually I'm, gets. I'm looking it. for the Chimera, by the way, through uh, Winthorpe. You see it, in fact, uh, docked on on the um on the docks it is the only ship there uh and there's a small village beyond it and winthorpe sees uh, individuals carrying torches and arms um rushing into the village from the ship um does it look like they just docked they're just putting it down is there a lot of people coming out what am i um you see Actually, you see there there are no more people coming off of the ship. There are two individuals still on the docks, but the rest are fanning out through the village. I will say to them, I'll come out of Winthorpe real quick, and I will say to uh, the, the party, it looks like Thorne is just now looking for him. He sent scouts into, or sorry, it... Uh, Colton is just looking for Thorn. He sent scouts out, uh, perhaps. They were rushing, yeah? Yep. Like running with purpose. Uh, I mean, advancing is would be more of an apt term. Uh, how many did I see through Winthorpe? I would say a dozen, maybe 18. Big old owl eyes come back through. Okay, it looks like there's about 18 searching for him. I'm not sure what his crew complement was. I don't think we got that from uh, captive before he died. But I was thinking that we go in there, we find the captain probably in his quarters, and we take care of him there. Colton, you mean? Colton. You need oh. to make sure to tell us who to kill and who to save, because I, I have no frame of reference for any of these men. That's I agree. Fair. I will kill all with him. I will tell you exactly who to kill. Thank you. How, Can we how, kill? How are we planning to handle the crew members on the ship? If I remember correctly, the majority of them should also be mutineers, yes? Yes, they are. The way I see it, they're pirates, and their pirates are the worst sort. And they should be treated as such. They follow a terrible captain. He is responsible for their blood. Now, do we send Winthorpe in to go scout around, see if he can look through the ship, see if there's anything he can find? That seems the safest way to handle it, so that we have information before we go in. Or do we go and find Thorn first? I think we should we should keep the dinghy at a not visible distance, and we should make sure that we know where these men are. Maybe track patterns of patrol. Is the is the ship looking to leave sometime soon? Well, here's 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 my question. Do you think, Remy, that Colton would order Thorn killed? on the spot, or would he have him brought back to the ship? He would have him brought back. Then taking command of the ship and having it so that we are in command of it instead of him when he gets back seems, to me at least, to be the, the, the stronger move. We don't know where they are. We need to find that first. Didn't you find that out with uh, Winthorpe? Let's see. <laughs> Owl eyes again. <laughs> um, telling Winthorpe telepathically to, to search around, see what he can see, see if we can locate Peter Colton. Um, so he tells you that there are uh, captain-like people at the helm of the ship and uh, also down uh, by the planks. It's two individuals that might be, uh, might fit that description. Mm-hmm. Mm. Would you be able to get him to perch into a porthole and see the inside? You know, birds land on ships. Yeah, I would love for him to 
telepathically tell him to go in and look in the windows and see what he can see. Also, I want to look through his eyes to see if I can recognize Colton myself. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, you swoop down to kind of get a closer view. Uh, give me a perception check. And imagine, uh, and imagine we've eased off the motorboat at this point, so yes, we're not yeah. coming in nearly as quickly. Okay. So you kind of slow down. Yep. Taking it off, uh, un unknotted it, and just kind of taking it out of the water and corked it. Okay. What did you get? I can't see it. Eleven. All right. Um. So. It's dark. Um, uh, so the uh, yeah, so so the position that that Winthorpe gets into, um, the individual that he went to go and look at in the helm is is facing towards the island, um, and Winthorpe is is behind him. Mm-hmm. So you can't see the face. Uh, looks like it might be the right size um you would have to get around to the front and potentially be seen uh to get a view the person's just not they're not pacing they're not looking around they're just eyes into the village i want winthorpe to try and get him to turn by distracting him see if he can uh let out a screech or something like that and fly away looking at him towards him so I can get a, a glimpse of the face. All right. So um, Winthrop gives a an owl screech and um, two individuals. I can't see anything. <laughs> All right. Um, The four individuals up on the deck all turn and look, and one of them is, in fact, Colton at the very back of the ship. And Winthorpe kind of flies away. Um, This fellow here. That is correct. Um, Um, And, in fact, this individual... No, this isn't going to work for me. Not going to work for me. Which, describe the location, and we'll ping it. Uh, the blue robed one. This one? Uh, that one turns and goes, we might have company. Mm. As when Thor flies away. Mm-hmm. I think that was a familiar. Familiar with familiars, is he? Do you pass us that information? Yeah, immediately. Uh, All right. Ruckus. There goes the element of surprise. Yes. Oh, no, we still have it. But put, put on your armor. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait! Don't do that. About to open the bag. What? Why? Because it's going to be noisy. Hold on. We are still far away. I'm thinking that maybe Rakis and I go up to the ship and climb aboard while you and Andraste take another attack. If that's what we are trying to do in assailing the ship. Eighteen water deep style. I'm open we, to ideas. We could still go out onto the island and look for Thorn instead. We could, but I think that that is us playing catch up with what he's with what he's already doing. And if they are aware that we're here, then we'll have them at our back end at our front. Or they might push off without us. That too. Once we reveal ourselves, that's it. We have to take out uh, Colton and take back the ship. We have a whole crew here, so once we engage, we are going to have to finish this somehow. Do we cast off? Do we get the boat moving so that... I think so. I, I, the plan I think that works the best is Ruckus and I stealthily remove the planks after we've casted the ship or uh, cut the, the anchor. Okay. I um, agree. Uh, could we possibly, just a suggestion, use the ship to cut off their exit, their escape, you know, while me and Woe and who I sw- mess with I, it? I, uh, I, uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, while me and Uzo mess with the ship. I think that we should take the cannons and aim them at the dock, and once they come, 
after we've dispatched Colton and his men, we have them give us what we want. We'll blast oh. them to kingdom come. So your your captain is not on the ship? No, he's out there in the village. They're searching for him now. Oh. And we're running out of time. We need to take Colton. We take the ship, we kill everyone, and we have this man as hostage. Colton. Colton, yes. Excellent. He lives anyways, because he is to be dealt with by our Captain Barden form. Now, if I get aboard and this man chooses him, shows himself as more than capable of a fighter... He will be. I might have to put him down temporarily. We'll bring him I, back later. I understand. Okay. If if if, need, if needs must, I can I can make it so that he is stable but unconscious. If you find it necessary to deal a, a killing blow, I would prefer to not do that if we don't have to. But it is uh, certainly an option. Okay. Yes. Don't worry, Andraste. I would love to hold him down for the killing blow for anybody who is most deserving of his death, murder. That that would be murder. Captain Thorn. Yes. Oh. Okay. Right. Execution, yes. really. So the plan is for me and Ruckus to swim underneath the ship, wait for some signal from you to then drop the planks and board, and then rain hell on this, these people. I, su I suppose my question then is, are Remy and I rowing to the ship? That but is a good question. It will not be very quiet, if that's the case. No, we'll take the dinghy, we'll let it in. We can swim is... on the sides and just kind of paddle through, holding onto the ship, pushing it forward. Is it night or is it day or is it dusk? What is it? It is still nighttime, but you know that the sun will be rising any sun. minute. Oh, crap. Yes, speaking of dawn, we should probably... Uzo puts the armor on. Let's do it. Sweet. Open this bag. Rakis. We walk. <laughs> we walk the bottom if we have to, but we stay deep. Oh yeah. And if we what? use a boat, a small dinghy, it should help us breathe underwater. You can breathe you underwater can, with your armor. armor on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> your armor allows that. Now, what is the signal? Because we will not go until those planks are down. And remember, there's guards over there, by the planks. The gods are... The gods will not catch up in time for us to remove the planks. By the oh, time they, they get there, the planks will already be off the ship. But Rakis and I might be drawing fire. I mean, if they're drawing fire, that's the signal. I will sneak aboard. And I will try and catch Admiral Colton. By surprise. Not an admiral anymore. His ship sank. It's true. So once they are focused on me and Rakis, then you climb aboard, jump aboard, do whatever through the back of the ship, but yes. get close. Uzo yes. casts armor of Agathus on himself at fourth level. And Uzo, yes. if you have to dimension door, you and Ruckus out of there, do it. Meet me at the aft of the ship, at the helm. You got it. Remy, what do you want me to do? You follow me. You wait. Right. And once, uh, once it's on, you come up and back me up. Always. So I get to create a diversion as large as I want, you say? Once I tell you to, Rakis, yes. Of course. Yes. Of course. The goal <laughs> is to eliminate the mode of boarding the ship. So take down the planks, get aboard the ship. But we don't want to hurt the ship because it's Barton Thorn's ship, yes? We go up, Ruckus, we go up, we, we go up to the docks, we run aboard the ship using the plank and then push it off. All right? Um, and then we cause a ruckus. Oh, you're speaking my language and name. Uh, yes. sh 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 as Uzo grabs <laughs> Ruckus's mouth and slightly like scuba dives him back off the side of the dinghy into the water. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to say in the middle of the water, I open the back. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm, you know, wait. All right. So I, me and Ruckus are coming in between Thomas, uh, like right here. 
So uh, you actually have should have control of that uh, icon. Nice. All right, Ruckus, get next to me. I am, I think. <laughs> right click, hold it, and then drag. Right click, hold yourself, and then drag. Oh, oh my shit. I think I did it. Oh, wait. And no, uh, wait. Captain Bo, you have control of the little dinghy. Nice. You have to select the uh, select slash move uh, in the first little box in the side ruler thing. Okay. Ruckus, are you using a mouse pad or a controller or a, or a I'm mouse? using a, ma a mouse pad. Oh, okay. I can't help you. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, you have to actually select the select slash move. I'm just actually moving my literal name. Okay, yeah, I got you. I don't understand. Did it not move? Is there a different move space? We're waiting for Ruckus to figure out how to move the icon. Hold on. All right, at the top left <laughs> corner, there should be a bunch of menus, right? The one that's the arrow, right? Select slash move is selected. It's blue. Oh, well, I, I was doing that then. And then you click on your guy, right? You click and hold your guy, and then you drag it. Yeah. As if you were like doing the thing. It, Give it, me it, control it, of his character, Thomas. Is, is, nope. It, is, it, is it on the open hand or is it on the cursor? Yeah, it's on the actual mouse. Or no, it's on or the open hand. Control. All right, <laughs> Ruckus is gone. Are you serious? <laughs> if it's on the open hand, you, you you can't move yourself. If it's on the cursor, you can move yourself. Oh, pan, pan view. Boom. Okay. On the no. Ruckus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got awakened mind talking to him. I'm holding his hand and I'm saying, okay, look up. You see these things? We climb up, we run on the ship, and we toss the planks over, and then we kill everyone. I could not agree more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Can't talk back. laughs> okay. I kind of. Give me stealth checks with advantage for uh, the two underwater people. All right. One. And stealth second. checks for. Uh, Remy and Tiana. Hoods up. Aaron, are you fucking kidding? That's, that's still regular because it's the whole thingy. No, you saw the website. That's what that oh, is. Oh, shite. <laughs> oh, hey, neat. A plus what? But you get to roll again, Aaron. Yeah, it does God. nothing. Oh, my God. Advantage <laughs> it, though. Do it again, man. Yeah. Mine is 19. Not 20. What is? Card us. We did it. <laughs> All right. You got a 20 now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mother of serendipity. So you give one and you get one. I'm I'm all right with that. That's fine. What so what, what do we get? I'm still compartmentalizing. He, 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 he rolled a one and then he rolled a twenty. Ah. So you get both, buddy. Uh, Holy you crap. get how, how is the cleric sneakier than the rogue? Oh frick. You get fortuitous circumstance. Yes! yes! <laughs> you didn't take it out. Slot <laughs> convenience. You got to you do the last one, Tiana. I'm doing this one. Well, Aaron is, but I did not get to do them. That the, was your the, 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 No, I said don't do the thing that you want to do because it's going to hurt everyone. We, we never <laughs> use the fireball. Boom. Uh, fireball. Another card I took out. The next person you meet makes an it takes an irrational disliking to you. Fuck, That's totally, totally useless. useless. That's offensive. <laughs> Colton's not going to be happy with all right. me. Oh man. Oh, oh no. no. So <laughs> I, we all pass, I guess, splendidly, right? I got a nineteen with my plus. Yeah, I, I had a, a two, a four, a, another, a three, and a fourteen. So one person got close. I have a I have a dirty twenty. Yeah. So I think about mermaids and I make it perfectly. Using <laughs> using the stealth, right? I come aboard right here, Thomas. Okay. Yes. And then uh, at simultaneously, me and Ruckus kind of wind up here as stealthily as we can, knowing that I guess as soon as we uh, chuck the planks over, um, they'll probably make some noise. So yep. when I chuck my plank over, I look to the guy immediately to my left and I cast an Eldritch Blast. Well, hold okay. on. <laughs> Uh, so Fuck that guy. I was supposed to be Rock. in position by then. Aren't you up near the thing? I we mean, we're, we're still we in the dinghy, mate. Uh, so there, I so I would. I guess I was no. How are you going to get a, a signal, Warren? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that is boom. a signal. Yeah. You did say boom. Okay. Uh, let's everybody. Let's roll initiative. Wait, wait, wait! I just called my action, man. I totally, <laughs> I totally called it, Thomas. I totally uh, they well, were they all, were they were all alerted to be on alert. Um, so right. you're you, you're gonna get to go. You're on the ship. Um, 
and the and the uh, the planks will be going over. Actually, um, no, oh, yeah, because they they didn't see you. So. I think I think we should have been able to get into position as well coming up the ship during this time. So we we're we uh, yeah. Go ahead and put yourself on the ship where you were going to be. Okay. So the idea was that like we have like some big like the eldritch blast causes a sound all the focus is on me and ruckus and then they come up that backside and like I assume sneak attacks for everybody. Uh so I mean they've been, they were looking out over the ship. Um so they were they were ready for you. In fact, they should get a surprise round against you cuz they had readied actions ready to go against you. Do they have we, dark vision? Is that what they have? And we were really good on stealth. <laughs> we did. So, we did crush stealth. So you did. So so the two uh, the two that were ready and looking over were looking like just off. So you're able to get up there, but nobody's going to get a surprise round. We're all going to go to initiative. That is dog poo. All right. <laughs> um. Actually. And and they the, were uh, they uh actually so um. When that happened, when we came aboard the ship, um, something knocked the, the boat fortuitously, causing them to look off in a completely different direction. That is not game breaking, right? That is like a loud banger noise causes them to kind of look north easterly. Yes, and they all, they all then take their ready to actions and attack nothing. Nothing? <laughs> All right, I guess we don't use it then. Well, we still got the fortuitous. Yeah. Oh, no, that happened. It. Oh, that's <laughs> well. No one, no one actually seconded it. Technically, fair. I made it too. Oh man, so I'm gonna be a lawyer someday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, one moment. What time is it? Eight twenty. Um, should we? No. I, 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 I think, I I think, a, I think I taking a, a break beer. before. Oh I, my god! I, I think taking a break pee, before we go into combat, in, in, instead of stopping of, after a round of yeah. combat, is a good idea. They get yeah. so lazy. They work from home now. They just like lose all professionalism. <laughs> I hate it. I no, want to go to the office uh, so, so bad. Me too. We, I do have to pee, but I will hold break. it. What? Before we go to break, uh, we've got bits that came in. Let's hear them. So we are going to do, um, chlorella. 500 bits to ruckus for mathing himself. Yes! <laughs> when did I add math? I don't <laughs> <Did>. know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Thank you, so Sam. we have Hefner with 1,500 bits for the DM. Wow. No, that's not that is okay. not true at all. Okay. Uh, 1,500 bits, 500 for the DM, 1,000 for the players. Yay! Thank you so right. much, bro. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And then we have King... I should have spelled better. As Amy keeps Shikamaru. trying to tell you. Shikamaru. Uh, 500 bits to the best DM. I'm going to just assume that's it. There More it bits for Amy, huh? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they're married. What's 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 uh, hurts his? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, my bad. I totally got that wrong. It was 1,500 bits for me, 1,000 bits for you, Ah. and 500 bits for the ruckus decor. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, I saw on the chat someone asked what the second little thing was, that little plushie, and I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> oh, put it in the Discord. <laughs> I'll throw it in the All Discord. Right. So, uh, thank you for those bits. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, let me make sure Nightbot is working. It is. Uh, everybody go ahead and put in hashtag chaos into the chat for an opportunity to win a Gale Force 9 deck of your choice. So many windows, so many computers. All of the things. The be right back is going to be a, uh, uh, it's going to be thanks, goodbye, everybody. Let's, <laughs> hashtag let's chaos can... in the chat. Do it, do it. Do it. Uh, hashtag we are chaotic. <laughs> hashtag chaos. Win those Hold cards. on, because I got to actually like find this thing. I'd and like don't, don't forget Aaron does have to pee. And, I and, do, but I well, have a mug. Don't worry. I will make. The sacrifices needed for this show. Look, it's okay. it's it's all a right. trying Here we time. Go. We're <laughs> all loaded up with the right image, so we'll be back in five to ten minutes. Don't go anywhere. Five minutes. Don't go anywhere. 
I'm gonna be on the spot. We have one bathroom. We've got five bathrooms for five people. We've got one mug for five people. That's true. <laughs> okay. That's, Gross. That's so wrong.
<laughs> Everybody. <laughs> what are you doing, Aaron? <laughs> I don't ask questions like that. It's too dangerous. Head crab. Uh, <laughs> what is that? It's a, it's a head crab. It's from Half Life. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what I've that only, is. I've the never head seen crab. That. All right. Hat. So uh, <laughs> I can wear it if you want. This plant behind me is called a regal shield. <laughs> oh, that's so much cooler. I've got nothing behind me besides like a rotary cutting board. So during uh, during my virtual GaryCon game, the the people were like, "Are those viral outbreaks behind you?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, the timing! Yeah, right. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a viral outbreak behind me. You bet um, they are. God, pandemic. So, uh, welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so we, we missed a couple of bits and we have a winner of our giveaway. So, uh, come Karam Drade. Karam Drade. Come Drade? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Conan, like Krom? Like Krom the Bandit? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, I would love to uh, see a pronunciation in the chat. Uh, it's K R A H M. D R A W D E. Camaraderie? Yeah, Sorry. maybe that. <laughs> I don't know how they come better, but anyway, some more of it. Come Drade. Come Drade. Still be about Conan. I'm sorry. <laughs> Camaraderie, maybe. Camaraderie. Congratulations, uh, all the congratulations, same. Congratulations, however we pronounce your name. Yeah. We appreciate congratulations. It. Congratulations, Car um, Ramrod. <laughs> yes, Ramrod. 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 Oh, Amy will miss, uh, whisper you. <laughs> okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you, Ramrod. We missed uh, before the break. <laughs> um, you guys have 1,000 more bits from Rav Starbrother for Tiana Tuesday. Hey. Tiana Tuesday's back. Thank hey, you, Rav Starbrother. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, and then another from King. However, you say his name, two ruckus for 500 bits. Nice. <laughs> hey, my right ruckus. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. We are going to move <laughs> on into uh, Aaron's Frozen, everyone. Aaron's Frozen. Someone oh. You've been pranked. <laughs> <laughs> Probably resetting his router. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a bad All right. here. <laughs> James's internet died at, at like 7.01 yesterday. Oh, that was Just, awful. Oh, damn. Oh. oh, it's gone. <laughs> hey, everybody, we'll be back as soon as he turns it on and off. And turns <laughs> it turns it, it on and off again. <laughs> All right, so we are now rolling. Uh, did you guys roll initiative? Or are you about I to? I did. Tiana and I did. I did not. I'm not giving that number up because it's good. I did not. Is what? it a 20 plus, oh, 20 total? Yeah. Tiana is an 18, Andraste. Plus your decks, Aaron. Plus your decks. Well, initiative score. Uh, he doesn't have any, I think. Oh, exactly. <laughs> zero to his. Damn. I've stared, his, I've stared at his uh, sheet almost as much as I have at mine. It's a crisp seven, Ooh. buddy. Yeah, oh. dude, come on. <laughs> there it is. I get an uh, 11. I got an 11. Ooh. All right. I do. we totally got that. I, I got that first shot off. Come guys, on. Guys, we have inspiration. We should use a little bit of it. For All this. right, I'll yeah, roll one d six. You 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 want a one d six for one? Yes, please. I will second that. Roll one d six. I guess I'm getting a twelve. Not a one. <laughs> I rolled a one. All right. All right. Oof. Uh. Uh. I will. Uh. I want to zoom this thing in, which could screw everything up. It'll be awesome. Do it. Okay. Oh, God. While oh, we God. have this break, That's should I bad. roll a d6 through d20 or in real life? Because I'm perfectly fine with either. Eh, do it in d20. Uh, uh... Roll 20. <laughs> no, no, no. A d Wait, am I getting inspiration as well or no? Yes, if you want it. I would love it. Who seconds if, if, it? If you want second it, I'll it. second it. I second it. Woo! Team effort. All right. Uh, well, second. And third and fourth, whatever. Okay. Nice. 10 total. <laughs> It's better than Sibin. Mm -hmm. Should have considered rerolls for those. Ten total. <laughs> total. All right. Very well. Very well. Well, that's a, that's a terrifying phrase. Yes. 
since you just used that, uh, Andrea the Burps with 500 more bits for you guys. Uh, for a seagull, uh, I will say that seagull actually poops. <laughs> what? Poop, that's poop that's on that's Colton. Fortuitous <laughs> circumstance. <laughs> the seagull poops in the eyes of the first person to go on their Ooh. side. To look all up. right, sounds good. Warren, you're up first. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's all good. This is my normal state. <laughs> all right, um, I'm gonna have to look over here. Sorry, everybody. Um, so up first is oh, this is gonna be really tough. Okay, so let me go back to this. I'm trying a bunch of different things here. I sympathize Wait entirely. You know, with all these digital tools, it's actually harder to do things. Yeah, I would much rather be moving minis on on the boat. Yes. Mm. Oh, drat! I taunt them. I feel like that's an action I can take with, <laughs> with no repercussion. What do you do? Wiggle your, never mind. I, I, no, I do the classic anime thing. Pull one eye down and just put your tongue out for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I don't know why that's offensive, but it works. It's, it's probably something in Japanese All right. culture. It's rude. <laughs> I mean, oh. yeah, I wouldn't do it in an office space. <laughs> uh, so you jump on board Remy uh, in land, and the guy next to you was looking off the back of the ship, unprepared. Um, his ready to action fails. However, uh, Colton is up first, and you are next to an enemy. Um, do I get to roll stealth because I threw the thing up and I was coming over? Uh, yeah. You're you're out in the open once you're okay. once you're on on the ship. Okay. It's night. No. Eh, starting to get a little more light. More light out. It's on. So, all right. So first shot is a 19 to hit, Remy. It does not hit me. Ooh. Okay. I forgot what that was like. Mm. <laughs> so a, uh, a, a hand crossbow bolt shoots past you. Um, that's no fun. <laughs> uh, but in... So that goes off and then one, two, straight into the fray with two rapiers. That is not gonna hit. I'm gonna spend two inspiration to reroll that. Wow. Ruckus. That was bad. All right. Twenty forty. Nothing. Look on the map. Me? The map? Ruckus? Yes. Did you um, me? that's the first attack of the two? Uh yes. I will cast shield. And then what that makes your AC what? Uh, 26. Whew. So yeah, so he comes in and, and for a deadly sneak attack and you get that shield up and <laughs> blast it away. And that also misses. So Colton comes up to you. Um, give me a perception check real quick. I will use this thing correctly. Fourteen. Uh, you don't add anything to your perception. That is correct. <laughs> you put it all in initiative. <laughs> this, this is uh, why I have a bird. <laughs> uh, he, you can. T he went to you because uh, you would be sneak attack damage. Mm -hmm. You don't think he like sees singles exactly me out as as Remy. Who you are? Yep. Speaking of who you are, you are up next. So as that came in, and I see Colton go to strike me. I put up the shield as this blue kind of energy kind of goes up and his sword crashes down on it and uh, kind of sparks as that happens. He comes in for a second attack. Same thing. Sparks off. And as the shield starts to leave in front of me, he sees my face there as Remy. And I look deep at him for just one second to see if he has any recognition 
Uh, yeah, at that moment, yeah, he does. And as soon as his mind's a little off like that, that's when I'm going to attack him. And I'm going to say, as I do it, I'm going to say, defend yourself, you mutinous bastard. And I will lunge in for a booming blade. All right. Everybody, uh, cover your ears. I think it's plus nine. I'm right next to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not a firearm. <laughs> it only goes boom to the person who it hits, eh? Yeah, mm. that's right. Um, feature traits. Versions. All right, here we go. Plus nine. Yes, that will hit. 23? Yes. Oh, no, hold on. I'm... There it is. That first one was my perception check originally. Ah. The second one is my attack. Gotcha. All right, so this this hits as I come in and I stab deep into him. And as I get in there, I say, I'm the Dread Pirate Remington now. <laughs> <laughs> and I pull it out as I unleash that booming blade into his body. Uh, and let me see, I'm going to have to slash roll 3d6. Plus 2d8. Plus 6. 26 points of damage as that Damn. goes off into him. 26 damage. Mm -hmm. All right. And yeah, just like kind of staggering a little bit as this goes into him. He doesn't quite take a step back, but you can tell he's mm -hmm. he has that sudden realization, A, that it is you and you are way more powerful than you were last time you met. Mm -hmm. At that point, I want to back off from him. Um, I'm trying to look on the map here. Where is he? Which one is he? That, that guy. Boom. Yeah. Right in front of both of us. Okay. Um, so I want to be able to move. Uh, how do I move this? Still figuring this out. I relate. <laughs> Anyhow, I want to move. I want to move back here. So that's five, ten feet of movement. Okay. To move back here, uh, you will provoke an attack from the person next to you. Uh, then I will bonus action disengage to do it. Gotcha. All right. And I will actually move another foot back here. Uh, no, not no, actually back here. So the full movement is uh, five, ten. Okay. Um, and I will point my sword at him. And I will say, time to get the revenge that I so greatly desire. Come, coward. Face your destiny. And ready okay. myself. All right. Andraste. All right, seeing that I am in the thick of things, which is where I like to not be, <laughs> um, I'm gonna just like shake my head, pull my, pull my holy symbol out and call out, Remy, eyes, and cast Radiance of the Dawn. Oh, all right. Which I measured should hit everyone on, on the upper deck. And it's enemies only? Yes. Nice. Because it's yeah. a 30 feet sphere around me. Rakas, you took too long. How did they get up here before us? Uh, uh, what? And it's uh, con save DC 16. I will use one for D6. Ooh. Okay. And that makes it so the uh, captain makes it. 
Um, yeah, there are way too many tabs. <laughs> <laughs> I understand entirely when when I when I have to flip between pages for the for the various Sahagwan. Oh my god. Yep. Classic okay. Do do. Okay. Well, there are also a lot of saves to make. Mm-hmm. Four total made it. One, two, no, three made it. No, four made it. Three did not. Okay. Uh, then the ones who made the save will take half of the damage. Okay. Which I'm rolling now. All right. So it's 19. 19. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a voice I've missed. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> He'll be back. Just pray. Just do something no one ever does and pray. <laughs> you say to the cleric. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of... Hey, Aaron, did you know that uh, one of the head temples of Rao is in Lathania City? Did you tell me that? Because I yeah. feel like that's the only... Oh, okay, yeah, then yes, I did know. <laughs> 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 just saying, just saying. I can't wait. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be exciting. Gonna there be we exciting. go. Um, Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> we'll get there. And then to make things more complicated for you, I'm terribly sorry. I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon uh, as my bonus action right about here. All right. That is not a problem for me. Um. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody knows that, where are you gonna put it? I'm going to put it right here. Okay, everybody knows. No, I, 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 I wanna be able to hit this guy. It's a badger. Look, like blue badgers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> badger. And it is plus eight to hit. So it's going to make a melee spell attack right away on that one. Okay. 23 to hit. Hits. For nine points of damage. Okay. You guys are using up all the electronically good rolls. <laughs> Because that's how it works online. Totally. That's totally how it works. Also, I am delighted that it took the form of a badger because Andraste is as, a, is as much a Hufflepuff as I am. Probably more, actually. I said Remy is as well. Quite the Hufflepuff. Huh? She, 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 well, she doesn't have the Slytherin streak that I do. Mm. Streak. Nah. We'll call it that. <laughs> Uzo's got the quickest sorting hat turnaround time. Slytherin, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Barely touches it. It was like he was like white hot. He's like, ow, ow, oh, okay, got it. <laughs> um, okay. All right, you go to oh, Ruckus. That? Yes, Ruckus goes like towards the end. Gryffindor. That makes sense. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think that means then yes. <laughs> so, so so we have two Hufflepuffs, a, a Slytherin, and a Gryffindor. We're down. We're down the intelligence, and that makes perfect sense for us. Oh yeah. I'm gonna bully the crap out of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this uh, this bandit comes up uh, behind you, swinging a what the hell? Sword. A what? A what? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Long sword. I just. I'm, I'm I'm in chat. I shouldn't be in chat. Uh, and... <laughs> yes, get out of chat. I have my chat. phone out of my reach for a reason. No, Dude. It's, it's my reason. Dude. Wow. Dude. Wow. Yeah. Wow is right. Wow. What? <laughs> what happened? So, okay, so a panthrope. I hope that's how you say it. 20,000 bits. What? To uh, kick us over or to 100% on our tavern upkeep. Um, wow. With that, plus the, 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 <laughs> um, thank you so much. the subs gifted earlier. Uh, thank so, you. Thank Seriously. You. Thank you really? So oh my God. Well, thank you so much for being part of our community, man. Well, Seriously. Uh, so I do who you are. That is. That's awesome. 
that keeps that, that keeps the light going and <laughs> and this studio running you know Seriously. Yeah. that's amazing this one no, no one <laughs> literally that's the one i was talking about <laughs> how much inspiration is that even uh, 20, that Twenty thousand. So, well 40? So, that's so much inspiration that uh we should uh, automatically do a giveaway on Chaos Agents. Yes. Actually, we should automatically do a giveaway right now. Now. Let's do it. I'm now. on that. Yes. Oh, great. So uh, I'm going to reset the uh, the giveaway. I am flabbergasted. There. I am beyond what the hell. All yeah. of my Thank gasted you. has been flabbered. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have no I have it. no clever witty pun for that. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. so, okay, we really so appreciate one, it. This one will be... Uh, this one will be... Uh, up to you guys what you want between a Gale Force 9 deck of your choice, a starter set, or the essentials kits. Or, if, or if you so want, uh, a Cthulhu starter set. Ooh. Oh, was you it, guys, have we given that away before? Yes, on Call uh, of Cthulhu. Cthulhu, yeah. Okay. Damn. Huh? That's amazing. So we so we also had so so we had a uh, so we had a sub giveaway. Today for the uh, Gale Force Nine deck, we also have the boy being triggered, so we have to do that one as well. Um, I was going to do that one on, on Cthulhu, so I think uh, we'll do we'll do this one here. Then we'll also do a, a starter set on Cthulhu as well. There on we Saturday. go. We'll Come on! Giveaway. Come on! <laughs> All right. Hashtag chaos in the chat. Do it now. Do it now. Hashtag, Hashtag chaos. chaos in the chat. Thank you, Panthrop. That is so awesome. Thank you. That is like amazing. from the bottom of Insane. our hearts. That warms us That's... for sure. Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm usually just in chat watching people talk shit about Aaron. I don't. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to cheat or anything. You know. I, 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 would, I, I, I would like to say. <laughs> I, I would like to say, for the benefit of the twelve-year-old boys that I play with, with with the uh, twenty-nine that we had previously and the forty that we just got, that we have sixty-nine inspiration. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Sixth grade Warren is all like. <laughs> all right, which one of you bozos didn't say nice? Nice. <laughs> Who said it with right. an O though? Noise. That's right. Noise. <laughs> I was going to point it out. I don't have to say nice because I think it's hilarious. That's why I pointed That's it out. <laughs> So uh, nineteen to hit you, good bow, good bow. Do you, you still have shield up? Or is uh, that no? That goes away. I think at the beginning of my next turn. So yeah. So, so, you, so it is still up. No, because I cast it oh. before my turn, and then my turn started, so it's gone. But either way, it does not hit me. My AC is twenty-one. All right. So then he comes back in, woof, with a natural one. <laughs> he He's scared of me. Yeah. So I got him. I got in his head. Through. And then a dagger at the end uh, for 20. Does not hit. Perry. Does not hit. Classic um, mind games. That's no fun. Um, this guy, can he go through the space of a spiritual weapon? Yes. I believe so, yeah. Five, ten. He's going to move there um, and show his buddy up with a natural 20. Ooh. Is on me? What he's gonna do. Yes, on you. Yeah. For twenty-five to hit. Um, I'm 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 gonna use uh warding flare. Warding flare to yeah. to. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, these are these are the dice we gave away yesterday. <laughs> Natural one. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Thank you. Wait, 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 we we got to get some people getting disarmed because of these natural ones or something. <laughs> get those bad rolls out now. Yeah. Dude. All right. And then this bandit coming up on Andraste. Frick me. That's a miss. That's an at 20. That hits. Uh, so scimitar, scimitar. Dagger for uh, 18 to hit. Uh, 18 is my armor class, so that hits. All right, so this is. I'll just throw all this damage at once, which is terrible. Easiest way to do it. Um, seven points of slashing damage and five more points, so 12 total. All right. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'll take it. 
Um, this guy coming in also, these are, so it's two scimitars swinging at you. Oof. At me 14 still? 14 on both of them. Good Lord. Yes, those both miss, thankfully. And a dagger for 16. Uh, also misses. Nice. All right. This cool. is, so right now, seeing the tide of battle and how terrible everybody is doing. Okay. Um, <laughs> I like to think that the, that the blast of daylight gave them a little bit of that, like like spotty vision, so they couldn't quite see me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> things are not great right now. So the mage is going to turn to. I mean, look at the map. The person who's not getting hit much, and cast magic missile. I don't need to roll for that. I just need to roll damage. What level? Second level. So I need to roll 4d4, four, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, what is that? Plus 4. So 13 points of damage. To me? No, to Remy. So my, my question about this is, this, is this considered an attack? Um, Can I uncanny dodge this? I do not know the answer to that. Did you make a... Um... I have not used my reaction yet. You could use shield, because shield blocks magic missile. No, magic missile is not an attack, Okay. according to the first thing that popped up, which okay. is... Just making sure. All right. That is. So, how much damage was that? You could Third use you, you could use your reaction to cast shield. I could, but that expends my spell slot. Uh, my last one. Mm. Um. All right. That's. Oh, it's no. Oh, oh, he goes later. Okay. That's it. Uzo, you are up. Oh my God. Longest. Up, yeah. uh, All right, hold on, hold on. Right. Colton didn't move. Um, Colton well, no. didn't move. It wasn't his turn. Oh. He went, so he went who? Yeah. The guy right here in the white. What's he got? It looks like he's got a scimitar, right? Correct. And this person is a melee user. Yep. Both are the same. And who, there's only one mage up on deck. That you can see. That I can see. Um. And which one was that? That, that guy. One. Oh, yeah. shit. There's six up there. He's totally camouflaged. OK. Um, so I walk to the, next to this guy, right? Like right in five by five right there. Boom. Yep. Um, and I said, Rakes, get down. And he throws two Eldritch Blasts at the mage. Okay. Okay. 15 hit. It does. All right. So for the fur for the right hand. Uh, one D ten for five for eight damage on the right hand, and then the left hand comes up to throw another arcing uh, eldritch blast beam. Um, four. Oh, it's plus eight. I'm sorry. No, yeah, I did that. I did plus seven. It's plus eight. For an unnatural 20 to hit. Yeah, that also hits. Roll 1d10 plus five. For 12. So eight and 12 to that guy. So 20 total? 20 total damage. All right. He's not looking good. And that is, that is my turn as uh, I'm standing shoulder to shoulder with this bloke. I yep. look at him, I turn and I look at him. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> How's you doing today? <laughs> mm. Oh my God, a caster right in front of him. You can see him salivated in, in his uh, <laughs> desire. Yeah. <laughs> Ruckus, you're up. Uh, the one salivating, I would love to attack him. 
Have you met my friend Ruckus? As Ruckus comes charging in. <laughs> Runs in, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So good. Let's see if Ruckus <laughs> comes charging in. Uh, D20 to attack. Oh, Uzo so like, yeah, All right. To that. So thing. Uzo casts, casts the Eldritch Blast, and he turns to the right. He goes, what's up? I'm Uzo, and this is Ruckus. <laughs> Ruckus enters his space. <laughs> I roll a 20 to attack. Ooh. Plus... Uh, yeah, plus the thing. Seven plus the nine. Sixteen. Inspired if he misses. I'm still doing it, even from 16, here. It's okay. Sixteen hits. Yeah. Sixteen hits. <laughs> I still added. Though. Okay, sixteen. Still yeah. Still doing it, even from across the bay. <laughs> yes. One eight to attack. I still got the shield up. That's an eight. That's a full damage. Plus the thing. Six. Six. Fourteen. Hit him again, Endo. Wait, was Fourteen that with Booming Blade? Just me. No, that was double. That was not with Booming Blade. I did not declare it. I see where I have not done it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the first attack, though. I was going to say, you have two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next attack. I'm working off of a mirror table. Hold on. <laughs> that was eight plus six, right? Yeah. For damage? Yeah, eight plus a six. The next roll is yeah, okay. Another seven. You want to re-roll? Yeah, this is the second action. This is the second attack. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's seven plus a nine. One. That should hit, right? Because it's the same yeah. person. It hit before. Oh, plus the nine. Sixteen, okay. 16 hits. Sweet. So yeah, sixteen both times. I think yeah. both times. Yes. Neat. Don't forget your booming blade. I <laughs> won't. You do you have bet a bonus I won't this now, time. Though. <laughs> you have a bonus action. Well, the bonus, yeah, the bonus action is to boom and bite, right? Right, right, but you still have one this turn if you wanted to use one. No, I didn't use it the first attack, only because right. I didn't announce it. Yeah, the second attack is booming blade. Though. I'm not talking about using booming blade. I'm just pointing out you have a, a bonus action to use if you still want to use a bonus action for anything you can. Ah, that's all. Anything at all. You know, like pulling out an animal. Oh, Possibly, bro. That's an action. I thought the booming blade would take that. I'm not. I can't remember. No. I'm just gonna move. It's been, blade a month. Is it's been a month. Okay. <laughs> it's, 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 it's part of the action because the, the the thing that you do in order to cast a spell is make the attack. Oh. Then yes, booming blade for the first one. <laughs> you did not call it. No, you didn't. <laughs> Going forward. <laughs> Going forward. <laughs> what damn it all. Did you roll damage uh, on that second one? No, I didn't. 1d8. Okay. Oh, three plus six. Nine total damage on the second, Nine on damage. The second attack. All right, he's not happy. Yeah. Bonus action pre pep. Yeah. Keep the bonus action for next turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm doing it. <laughs> it's good. I I get it. I get it. I love you. I've missed you. I you get in the way. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, this this gentleman who was just attacked um, isn't very isn't very happy about that. However, uh, he, he sees full plate in front of him in leather, and he is not stupid. And he's going to attack the guy <laughs> with leather armor. Uh, he is not as smart as he looks, then. <laughs> as he doesn't notice the icing on, like, the leather armor. <laughs> he rolled a three perception. Well, <laughs> yes, a three perception. Plate's hard to miss. Armor bag if this is. 16 to hit. 16 does Oh, six. Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I didn't put it on. I have a. This is not right. It gives me seventeen. I have a seventeen. So he misses to hit you. We all have and a twelve. See. Uh, coming back around, so he misses again. <laughs> all right. It bounces off of your magical uh, armor. 
It doesn't. He just straight up misses because if it bounced <laughs> off, he'd he'd get a reaction. Boy, would oh he? <laughs> yeah, he'd probably be dead. And this guy back here pulls out a crossbow. Ah, damn it! You said he didn't. <laughs> No, you said he's got a scimitar and daggers. I'm like, yeah, he does. And a <laughs> it's an action to drop the weapons and pull out the crossbow, right? Not, not, no? not necessarily. If he just drops it on the on the if he just drops it on the, on the deck, then drawing the weapon is part of the attack action. Fuck. All right. Stop it, That's... Andraste. Yeah! Right. <laughs> I do not want that precedent used against us. 16, 16 to hit. Does not. Does not. Well, it will. <laughs> <laughs> Inspired. 19 to hit. I'm going to use that inspiration. Thank 19 you. hits. So I guess the back of my shoulder takes a ding Five of. Points of damage. Five points of damage. All right. Bink as the uh, arrow gets engulfed by a cold and then shrivels up and disintegrates. That does take away your temporary hit points, right? Or five only, of them? only five of them. Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> At least something. All right. This is suddenly. Uh -oh. Sudden death. Maybe. Oh, uh, sudden suddenly see more. Two guys. Right here. Beside so I will you. say. Yes. Don't right give me your love. Ooh, right. Warren's got a voice. Don't condescend. <laughs> Dude, right. Don't let um, me pull out the songbook. That's awesome. I'm down. So, oh, <laughs> hot in here, man. Karaoke night. We should this, totally do a virtual karaoke first. night. <laughs> <laughs> Which has a has a karaoke game. Like they built an in-house karaoke game. Are you it. serious? Yeah. No way. Yeah. That's cool. Also, it's actually no, called Twitch cool. Sings, which is weird enough. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's oh amazing. My God. Oh. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you not see the keyboard in the background? No. <laughs> it's no. tucked into the corner. Yeah. yeah. With the dirty clothes. Yeah. That's Alan Menken, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Is that's it Alan really? Menken. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The Little Shop of Horrors is Alan Menken. Oh. So yeah. a uh, another glowing badger appears floating next to you, Andraste. Okay, what? A 25 to hit. 25 hit. The hint, Ruckus. I, I can handle these guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. What am I supposed to do? What am I Help! Supposed You're supposed to, to pull out animals. A lot of them. I Litter the ship with animals. My bonus oh. <laughs> Should have did that before we <laughs> Nine came on Nine points ship. of damage. Thank you. Go well done. And that's a second. Um, God. <laughs> if it was my bag of holding, I would have remembered to do that. It's not bag a bag of, of holding. I a have a bag, bag of, of tricks. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know the name. All right, was anybody noticeably injured other than Andraste up in the top deck? Mm, I got uh, something, uh, the magic missile. Gotcha. Okay. Recently. Who's Who cast that? The, the guy that uh, Uzo hit. Yeah. This person right here. That one. That one's casting spiritual weapon. Okay. Uh, I'd rather a cleric or a divine soul sorcerer, and I don't like either option. Hmm. And uh, come on, come on. My tutor's about to die. It literally is about to die. If I did oh, just connect this whole thing, <laughs> plug it in, man. Plug just it see in, how long it lasts. It uh, Tiana, <laughs> what is what's told the dead? Uh, the save on that. Uh, Speak slowly. Is, is a wisdom saving throw. Grammy, make me a wisdom saving throw. Shit. Sorry. If, if you disconnect as the DM mm. the, and you come back, the game, like, we kill them all. <laughs> Done. That's fair. 15. 15 is not going to do it. Wait, wait, 16. Sorry. It's a saving throw? Yeah. Yes. Plus one. 16 will do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they are the same level as me, or at least yeah. or at least similar powered. That's right. the uh, the ring of protection I got. Very nice. No fun. Okay, top of the lineup, the captain. Um, Who's in front of me? Yeah, Jesus. 
I did just taunt him and and you did. Um, and I think since you're since you're near a bunch of his people, he will come to you. Andres, do you get a attack of opportunity? Uh, he will bonus action disengage. Ah, oh, bloody mm. rogues. <laughs> And he will come at you again with three attacks. Yeah, just all three. Uh, three. As he walks forward, 2d8 damage goes off as oh, the booming blade. booming blade shatters through his body. Uzo screams through that. Drink the potion! 11 points of damage. All right. Which of us are you shouting that at? Who at? Yes. I'm the, the, <laughs> the pirates might think I'm shouting at them, right? Like, just drink. You know what potion I'm talking about. Fuck. I know. I put a lot of work into making the damn thing. All right. So, uh, first Thanks, attack. Man. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you have two. Oh, yeah. so, so, 16. I mean, 19. 19. 19. Uh, probably won't hit. No, it will but. not. A twenty-five, probably will. Uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use warding flare on that one, to give it disadvantage. Is that only a natural twenty, or is it? Sorry. Is that anything? It's whatever attack I choose to give uh, disadvantage. You were surrounded right. by people. You should save that for yourself. So sixteen. I have no idea what you're talking about. That sounds ah, right. So so that one misses. Okay. Uh, so he's going to come back through with two more swings. Uh, 22 and a 14. The 22 hits, the 14 does not. All right. I said when, when she got the ability to use Warding Flare for other people that she'd never again use it on herself. And it's pretty <laughs> accurate so far. Go, oh, I need more. All right. So, so Rapier coming at you, one of them hits with sneak attack for 12, 16, 19, 20, four points of damage. What? I will uncanny dodge. Bloody hell. Mm -hmm. So only take 12. Uh, that's his entire go though. Um, Cause he bonus action disengaged. Um, Yep, that's it. That's all he does. <clears throat> Remy. So as he does that and he gets me and I just move out of the way, uh, I, I come back to him and say, you're better with a sword than I thought, but not that much better, Colton. Tell you what, tell your men to surrender and I won't kill you here and now. <laughs> uh, if I don't kill you, Someone will. <laughs> so be it. And I, I charge forward. Um, bonus action to grab the potion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take it. And I will charge forward and, and strike him. And that would be the so, potion of continuous heal created by Andrea. Yep. So, Seer Cloud Step back in the day. Uh, it does 1d8 every the beginning of every round. Yeah. Uh, is it on at when it was taken and then the beginning of every round or just at the beginning uh, of every round? When it was you you drank it first and then you attacked, right? I heard yes. that right? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it is in the DDR, So let me have and a it is on your character sheet, so it would yeah. tell you. Just making sure. Upon, upon drinking this potion at the start of combat using one action to consume, it grants the bearer 1d8 health each round oh. of their turn. So it's an action to consume it. Yes. But it's a, but, but it's a potion. Yeah, yeah like but it's one. written there. <laughs> no, you don't take, <laughs> Stop Usually it. Usually drinking a potion it. is. Yeah, we do bonus actions for potions. Uh, no, it looks oh, like it's just every round. There's the music. Yeah. It looks like it's every round. It's not at the time. So, I'll have to wait. Oh yeah, okay. when it was written, we were doing it takes an action to take a potion, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I take the potion, drink that, 
and then go in with another booming blade and say, very well, your death then. Um, can I have Winthorpe come in and give me the help action on this one? Certainly. Awesome. Uh, roll 1d6. 2d20. Keep higher 1. Well, that sucked. Uh, oh, yeah. Plus 9 on that. So that's 20. Uh, 22 to hit. So Winthorpe flies in. 22 does hit. <laughs> and then Winthorpe flies out again another 30 feet up. All right. And as he leaves the space, he's going to use his reaction for a 16 to hit. Oh, yeah. That's going to hit him. What do you mean he's going to use his reaction? Well, he left his space. Hack of opportunity. Oh, yeah. Owls don't get those. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. That's part of why oh. he chose that. that. That's that's why. <laughs> Yeah. That's what That's makes terrible. it so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately for him. Um, so he's again 30 feet up. Gotcha. And I hit, so that's damage now. Slash roll. 3d6 plus 2d8. 28 points of damage. That's pretty brutal. And, um, yeah, that was my bonus action, so I can't really do anything. And I'll just ready myself here for him and say, you can surrender at any time, Coton. Uh, Andraste, you're up next. Excellent. Um, there's a lot of people around me, and I am not about this life, so I'm I'm going to cast um, uh, Radiance of the Dawn again. Terribly sorry about all the con saves you have to roll. <laughs> yep. That's definitely a sorry, not sorry thing. <laughs> Crikey. Okay. What's my damage? Uh, the damage is 21. So 11 if they fail. Colton is looking fail. pretty ten, brutal. Uh, 10 if they, if, if they, ten. If they succeed the, the, the throw. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Colton's looking pretty hurt. Yeah. As are a number of the individuals. Excellent. And I'm going to take my bonus action, actually. Do I have control of this? No. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to move my, my shimmering badger up to the mage and take a whack at him. All right, you can boom. Okay. And that is a 24 to hit. Uh, I, think that hits. <laughs> I mean, carry the 14. <laughs> no, no, no. Shield isn't even going to help, so yeah. <laughs> Not really, no. All right, so that is 1d8 plus 5 is 10 points of damage on, on him. Uh, yeah. That it, so you <laughs> comes down and just slices through and just the robe falls to the ground and a bloody mess as well. I mean, as, as it would. I'm like, yes. Uh, right. Killing that mage. Excellent. One fewer, to, uh, one fewer to deal with. Let's go. Oh, um, nope. Use my bonus action. Damn. So that goes. Oh, your bonus action was to move it. Yep. Right. So now, and your action was 
Hold on, I, I also missed one. Oh, you missed one person? Yeah. All right. You did a lot of damage that round. That's for sure. I'm, uh, I'm terribly fond of big AoE things like right into the dawn. So the mage is dead. Ah. Uh, um. Jeez. All right. Well, this guy. Two two swings with scimitars coming in. On me. Yes. Uh, twenty four and a twenty. Both hit. For fourteen points of damage. Okay. And offhand, he comes in with a dagger for 11 to hit. 11 does not hit. Okay. This one here um, will do the same thing. 24 hits, one doesn't. Six points of damage. Okay. And swings in with a dagger, natural one. Does the dagger like break or something? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Um, this guy, uh, when I click on it, it doesn't. So that guy and that guy are both going after Remy. So. Mm -hmm. First one, two scimitars coming through, a two and a seven with his dagger, a nine. <laughs> the other one, a 24 to hit. That hits. And he will inspire. That's, I only have one left. Full reroll. Ugh, that was worse. That was, that was an Amy. That was Arr an Amy! Yep. <laughs> ah, it went from a four to a three. Sorry, half. I just used your pen spell. Uh, so one of them. A brief moment of hope. <laughs> Or six points of damage. All right, six points. Out of all of those, all six attacks, six points of damage. Holy cow. And two inspiration. <laughs> Terrible. 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 As uh, Charles Barkley would say, Terrible. All right, Terrible, <laughs> Peter. Uzo. All right, how's the guy in front of me looking? Not great. He was he was hit up pretty bad. Eh, not horrible, but not great. Um, as that's happening, all the stuff at the top and the mage goes down. Uzo attempts to roll away from his area, so he gets an attack of opportunity on me if he wants. Oh to. wow! Yeah. Oh, he is gonna take it like nobody's business. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Dirty twenty. Yeah, that hits. Let's see it. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. He takes 20 in return. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he still got his temporary hit points. Uh, so you might, as well, you might as well describe. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. he tries to uh, roll away as the guy... Um, I guess takes a swipe at Uzo's back. Uzo it, Uzo feels the blade dig into his lower back spine area as uh, the slow icing death starts to cripple up the scimitar and up his arms. And Uzo stops for a second to to turn around and look at him as he like the horror in his face as he turns into an ice statue. Mm. You're not the smi smartest one on the ship, are you? <laughs> and the last thing he kind of crumples and drops into a heaping mound of uh, frozen body parts as Uzo goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 right at the base of the stairs. Um, and this person right here, is that Colton? No. no. Colton That's is, not Colton. Colton's here. I don't know why it's not pinging. Press and hold it. Okay. Yeah, um, who's this guy? Is this guy hurt right here? Boom. Uh, yes. 
All right. So Uzo is going to fire two Eldritch Blasts in his back as he starts to slowly ascend the stairs. The first left hand. 1d20 plus 8 is going to be a 26. Nice. Which one are you hitting? This gentleman right here. Let me know if he drops. Okay. Damaged. damaged. 1d10 plus 5. Will make a six. That's awful. No, um, six does not do it. So then Uzo fires with the right hand to the same guy. Okay. For an 18. Hits. 1d10 plus five for another six. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Rolled ones on roll. each of those. That's This is how electronic... Oh, Random that happens on the dice works. too, and no, you know it, it fucking does. I rolled four <laughs> ones on a sneak attack. Exactly. <laughs> but you've n- you'll never do that again in your life. That's likely. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna. Well, we That's have a quick break. I'm gonna, dice. I'm gonna roll the giveaway. So here it is in three, two, one. Demon Kitty. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Is that sorry, Demon Kitty? Demon Kitty. Demon. Demon. Demon kitty. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, although, although you know what, uh, we do have a one in a one in a month giveaway, so I need to just look. I need to look. <laughs> Which resets uh, tomorrow, April first. So, Damon. I am terribly sorry. Damon Kitty has already won oh. once this month. Oh no! Not Damon. <laughs> so we're gonna have to re-roll it. We're gonna have to roll it again. Uh, usually we uh, we you know are trying to keep an eye out. Sorry. Dude. All right. Resets tomorrow. Sorry, I'm gonna re-roll it By here. By one day, that's gotta be that's gotta hurt. Love the yeah. name. Mm-hmm. Ski Bras is the actual winner. Ski Bras. Sorry, Congrats. Uh, Ski Bras. Ski Bras. Just as you were asking, how do I enter? You didn't even know that you entered. You hit the there hashtag chaos and didn't even know it. <laughs> Congrats! Thanks for, for as you do. You lucky right, beauty. Me, uh, give me one moment here. So our official rules are U.S. and Canada only, excluding Quebec. Uh, one winner per month. Uh, you should sign up to a newsletter! Exclamation point newsletter. There's uh, a newsletter. So you get all <laughs> of the details and all of the uh, fine print in our rules. Word. Congratulations, Ski Bros. Thanks so much for tuning in, mm-hmm. y'all. We're giving away a lot of stuff, though. So. We really are. Yeah. Stay tuned. All right. So, Eldritch Blast, end of my turn. 12 points of damage total into this guy's back. Bing. Bing. As Uzo climbs the stairs, still shimmering a little bit with his Octopier's armor on and Agathis. Do I, as Ruckus, perceive that? The guy in front of you is dead. This guy right here is dead. Yeah. Uh, but okay. you you saw this dude shoot at me, man. In the back, like a coward. I just wanted to see you shoot at him to be like, yep, definitely dead. <laughs> <laughs> we could use some help up here. I'm on my way. Marcus, you are up. I'm talking to you. Yes. You should go to the front of the ship and take care of that guy. <laughs> if, I, if I can control <laughs> how to put, place my character, I would love to. Oh my well, God. No, no, wait. Where are you going? Are you going to us or are you going to that one guy? Uh, which one's closest to dead right now? Uh, the people over us. here. The people with us. Yeah, I want to go for the first one closest to death. You should jump. You should uh, jump. jump in action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should jump. It'll put you right up there. I that will get rid of my action. I mean, well, my he, he could probably dash and get the same movement for the same result without expending a spell slot. Ooh, you could actually reach reach uh, the that guy. reach the priest. Yeah, yeah. Get that cleric without any kill a priest action yeah. expend. Nice, correct. Cool. Sweet. All, All right. right. Yeah, to the priest. Actually, I'm, feeling the priest. I'm feeling religious. I'm feeling religious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can scoot around that the mast. Yeah. I'm doing All it. Right. Get the straight, cleric. It's a five foot space, yeah. yeah. Okay, straight up. I'm going to go to uh, the priest and I'm going to make a quick prayer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to I'm here to hear confession. That <laughs> <laughs> I love <laughs> what I do yeah. and I slash. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh, 17 plus a thing, 19. <laughs> How do you not know what the thing is by now? Because I don't want to remember. <laughs> All right, that hits. Plus a nine. Yeah. All right. That hits. Sweet. 26 to damage and then a 1d8. Let me figure this out. Three? Okay. Plus Five. a six. Nine total damage. Nine total damage. You didn't use Booming Blade, did you? You bet I did use Booming Blade before you said that. That's not being game breaking. <laughs> you did not. Damn it! <laughs> you have a second attack, though. Use that it means. on the second attack. Yeah, second attack, Booming Blade. You cannot That's use good. it on the second attack. Really? You can only no. use it. Yeah, because it's not part of the attack action. It's an action. Yeah. It's an action to cast, and as part of the action, you make an attack as opposed to making or using the attack action, which gives you two attacks. Repeat it to him again. No, I got it. I think. <laughs> you can use the attack action to take yes. two attacks, or you can cast a spell that gives you one attack. Mm -hmm. But I can't use it as a bonus action. Right. That's correct, because it's, it's not a bonus good. action. No, but you That's... can second win. That's... Or. Uh, action the, surge. Whatever. All right, action surge. Do whatever. It. Get this priest Fire. out of here. Seriously. Yeah. Have well, did, first, have another attack. did we long rest though? We did. We did. Yeah. Yeah. You have your action surge. I didn't add that. But yes, action surge. <laughs> no, no, no. You have one more attack. Well, first. Take your yeah. second attack. Okay. Right now with the flam burst. All right. Then yes, that. <laughs> and you might hit, and you might finish this. Before having to action. Plus, well, okay. 11 and 9, dirty 20. Yeah, that's going to hit. Okay, good. Four. I D8 guess. plus a thing. Six. Way more. Plus the six. 12 total. 12 Damage. total. How do you do it? Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh my god. Yes, All right. Take the weapon off me. <laughs> I get up close to him and he sees the blade almost like pierce his eye and then it kind of drops randomly and he's like, "What? I guess my life is saved." And then his <laughs> legs are removed from his <laughs> body. <laughs> That's my envisionment. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Straight up. He's he like to the ground. Without his legs. He, he does scream, no, for just a moment before dying. <laughs> Can he hear my, yes! <laughs> in the middle of a second. <laughs> he falls, and maybe I kick him a little. Maybe yeah, I knee him, but whatever okay. I can. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Do it. <laughs> just adds a little more honor to his death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very nice. About that. <laughs> I did a team. Did you see? I appreciate it. Uh, let me let me look at the angles. Did I see? Probably. I saw, yeah. and I saw I saw the weapon disappear. So I very much appreciate it. <laughs> well, he's like two feet shorter, so you should see notice something. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Like crossbows. So this guy aims uh, twenty to hit. Is that a disadvantage at that range with a light crossbow? For 60? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not sure about that. So I'm looking. No, it's 80. My apologies. I don't deal uh, with 20, 20 to hit Uzo. What? How? What? Crossbow to the back. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that guy? That fucking yeah. guy? How far is it? 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah. 30, 30, 30, I wish 40, I could 40, use 40, this 40, on 50. these rerolls. That guy. What'd you get? Seven. Oh, okay. Seven. And, and yep. more. I still got temporary armor left. The second arrow comes into the back as it crystallizes and then disintegrates. The armor does its thing. Um, Priest is dead. All right. Top of the lineup. Captain, who is... I'm going to fucking kill that guy. <laughs> I did just give him a, another chance to surrender. It's not happening. That's fine. No, uh, he does. Do I hear you offer him a chance to surrender? You were there. Yeah. I, I just came up. Oh. Do you just do it now? No, I did it on my turn in that round, in the last six seconds. So, very unheroically, uh, you hear him yell out. Oh, the ship! 
and he goes in on you, Remy, to attack. What did he what, say? What did he say? Blow the ship. Blow it. Oh no. Oh. Whether anybody hears it, heard him is still or is still alive is who knows. Mother trucker. <laughs> And just comes in and just, he's so furious. He just cannot even get anywhere oh. close to you, except for the last hit is a 21. It just hits. So That's it's like, his dagger? Yeah, uh, uh, this is a scimitar. Oh, scimitar. Sorry, I had to kill I'm sorry, it's a rapier. Rapier. So he, yeah, he comes in with three attacks with his rapier. And two of them suck really bad. And one of them does eight points of damage. I think... Ooh, actually, hold on. Hold on. Oh, never mind. Hold on. The sneak Eight attack. plus sneak attack. Did you roll two ones? I did. So <laughs> 10, 13 with sneak attack damage. I will uncanny dodge. Unbelievable. You uncanny bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man Spider 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 All right, I believe this is gone. Can you guys still um, hear me all right? Yeah. Okay. So, Captain, he just Remy. sucked up really bad. Remy, you're up. Take your healing. Oh, yeah, D8? that's 1d8. How are you doing? Uh, I am now at 29. No, oh, hold on. That 1d8 is how temporary much? points. Or, yeah, 29. In my home game, I cast Aura of Agathis every chance I get. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I, I could learn that. I could cast it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so some of the, the cuts that I had taken kind of close up and some of the blood disappears from my shirt as it's sucked back into my body. And I look at it and I look at him and I go, there's no way you can win. And I'm not going to let you take the Chimera with you. You still have to answer to the captain. And with that, uh, is he looking pretty rough? Yeah. Yeah? I will yeah. go in without the Booming Blade, non-lethal damage, to knock this guy out. Okay. Make an attack. Uh, Winthorpe is going to come down and assist. Uzo shoots Ruckus a look. Ruckus shrugs. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Whoa! I gotta look Are at you kidding me? I gotta look at roll 20. Wait, what is KH1? Uh, keep the highest one. Wow. We can spend inspiration for a reroll. We have plenty. Do it. Uh, I don't Give know. Give him two. That's you, works. Give him two. Yeah. Left. Do it again. That, that's at the roll? No. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. What roll again with advantage? Take right? it. Yep. Take it. Take it. Okay. I so will, I'll take it. We're at 67. <laughs> uh, damn it. Oh, no. Is there anything sexually innuendo y about 67? Not as far as I know. Natural Nat 20. Oh, you bet. Worth it. Natural yes! 20. <laughs> oh, Nat 20. All right. Natural 20. And for the record, this is going to his gonads. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> we respect our captain. Where else would it go? <laughs> so as I'm going to stab in, I flip Kumara so that it's just the pommel around here. And uh, I, I slam him and I go, it's the Remy special. <laughs> Boom. 
four, three, six. Plus one D eight. Plus six. Twenty points, ouch. Yeah. yeah, no, you oh, killed him. And it's a nat 20. 20 points of going at damage. Oh, He's yeah, that's a nat 20. So that's actually 14. Yeah. So that's 28 plus 6. You so killed 34. him with that. Yeah, yeah there's no. <laughs> he falls to the ground. <laughs> with a high pitched voice, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I turn to everyone else and I say, find anyone you can and stop them from blowing the ship. I'm a little busy at the moment. <laughs> Rakis, he was talking to you. I'm decapitating as many as I heroically can. He's doing the legs of them, I thought. Anyhow, yeah, that's my turn. Uh, hold on, no, he's dead, right? So he, well, he's down. Yeah. Uh, Uzo looks across the ship. What is the scimitar guy with the crossbow doing? He's just aiming at you. Okay, but there's nothing like gunpowdery around him. Uh, no, he is uh, He is behind uh, railing, though. Okay. Uh, so he does have uh, plus two to his AC. Got it. All right, just turn to the other guys and say, you can drop your swords or drop like your captain. That's my turn. All right. Oh, that's me. Andraste, you're up. Um, no, it's fine. Do they look like they are considering the idea of surrendering? Mm -hmm. Nope. Absolutely not. Okay. Good. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> I gave them a chance. I did. You did. You gave them. You gave them a fair chance. We heroes. So I am going to cast Scorching Ray at third level, which gives me four uh, uh, fire bolts, basically. And I'm going to aim two of them at this guy and two of them at this guy. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. So here's one. Ha. Do you want the D6 on the first one? On the nat 20? On the second one, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, yes. I'd like to I'd like to re-roll that second one. Or re-roll it. Re-roll. Re-roll re it. I'm I'm down for that. So that is five. Nice. 24. Cool, 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 yep. cool. All four hits. Fantastic. So the nat 20 is gonna be on this guy who's directly behind Remy. Yep. And that is, oh goodness. All right. So that's one. Uh, this is the nat 20. Mm. Two, three, Got robbed. four. So 23 on the first one. Yep. Uh, no, it would be a twenty on on the first one because I did the one d six and then the the forty six. Uh, oh, so I see. Twenty on this one and nineteen on this one. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second one's not looking great. Uh, this one here. This one is dead. This Sorry. one is. I'm waiting for that X to pop up. There we go. Um, so, so I don't need to move the sword in order to hit this guy, the the spiritual weapon. Correct. So can I just make a spell yeah. attack with that? Yep. Cool. So, uh, yeah. I don't think, I think it moves on its own 20 feet. I don't think you need to use a bonus action to move. Well, the bonus action is for the attack, right? I don't know. Let me let me look at the phrasing on this one. It should be um, able to move an attack in the same turn. As yeah, a bonus, yeah. oh, it, it totally can. As a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to twenty feet and repeat the action uh, and repeat the attack against a creature within five feet. Right. It, it, doesn't, doesn't it didn't need to move. Right, but it doesn't say anything about what happens when it doesn't need to move. So, I have no idea. That's that's up to your discretion. Yeah, I think you, yeah. As a bonus action, you need to use a bonus action to hit. It. Then mm -hmm. I use my bonus action to roll an, uh, to roll a dirty twenty to hit it. That hits. Fantastic, and that is a 
I can't believe it. Yeah. Points of damage. I can't see. Six. It's uh, six points of damage. Thank you. You're welcome. Too many tabs. All of the tabs. I understand. Yeah. Not looking great. Ah, still up. Annoying. Still up. Which one is that? Oh, hey, what card did we get for the, the like two nat 20s that we've had? Oh, that's good call. Good call. Which one we might, is we, we might get max damage. If we get max damage, that'd be nice. Uh, your movement does not provoke an attack opportunity and advantage on a skill or attack roll. Sweet. Okay. Which one is not looking good? Uh, this one. That guy is not looking good. The other two are also hurt from okay. Radiance of the Dawn. It is um, the mage's turn, and he is dead. You're welcome. Maybe. But these bandits go on that turn as well. Um, this guy is going to use his action to pour a potion down his captain's throat. This is why we kill them, Re Remy. <laughs> He's not ours to kill. Not yet. Your friend is going to want Seven. to blow up the ship. Eleven. Fifteen. So, yeah, he just <gasps> comes up. The captain does. Uh, so, so which one did that? This one? The not good one? Uh, that one did. Okay. This one is going to attack you. All with right. Two scimitars. Oh. Wait, which one? I'm missing the click oh. here. So who poured the potion, and then who? This one. This one poured the potion. Okay. This like... one's attacking me. Okay. It's like it's like water ripples. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I so still have my to move my character. <laughs> that twenty and a nineteen. Uh, I'm going to use the um. Warding flare. Yes, warding flare. Thank you. Warding flare reaction on the nat twenty. Um, Just because that's unpleasant. I, that is a eleven. Does not I hit. Will, what's your AC? Eighteen. Okay, I'm not gonna use my last inspo. <laughs> so one of them hits. Okay. <sighs> Should be a half one. Um, I don't think it counts on damage. Uh, <laughs> anyway, for five points of damage. Cool. And then he is going to swing through back with his dagger as well for a 19 to hit. 19 hits. Or four points of damage. Okay. And he... I am not a happy camper for the record. He's going to run <laughs> down the stairs. Attack of opportunity. You used your reaction. Oh, shoot. You're right. Oh, yeah. Point him out. Which one? That guy. <laughs> the one who just moved. Okay. <laughs> uh, he is under the stairway. In fact, he kind of is disappeared. Well, Remy, you can still see him. Yeah. So he gets to there. You look down, uh, and that is... He's actually about to kind of pop out um, onto the lower deck. In fact, I'll just go one more. He's out on the lower deck, so those stairs okay. connect down to the lower deck. How's he looking? Not great at all. He's He, he had a, a couple of warding flares on him. Well, a couple of ratings to the Dawns, anyway. That's what I mean. <laughs> um, Uzo. Get that one! As Uzo uh, comes up the stairs, he sees the other one kind of pop through down. Yep. And he makes a split second decision because he was going to cast an Eldritch Blast in Colton's back. But he mm -hmm. decides to then throw it at, throw them both at, well, one first at the, uh, the one who just popped his head out. So okay. left at hand the at the runner. We got a runner. Get a runner. Uh, for 11. Plus, can I get a D6? Yeah. Yes. Oof. 12. 
Can I do one more? What? I don't think we can do that. No. Can I do advantage on a skill or attack with the card we just gained? Sure. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Seconded. 19. Mm. 19. Right. Uh, actually, 27. So it hits. Roll All right. 1d. Roll, roll damage. 10 plus 1d50. No. 1d10 plus 5. 1d50 would be great. So seven points in his back with the left hand. Does He's not fall. He staggers a bit, but keeps running. And Uzo throws the left hand. You persistent bastard. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? I give um, you a reroll. A reroll yeah, that. Re yeah, come on. You guys are eating up all the good rolls. <laughs> 16 into his back. Hits, yeah. Boom. Uh, 1D Will, yeah. plus 5. So Uzo, first one doesn't... You persistent bastard. Ugh! Throws the second Eldritch Blast for 12 points of damage yeah, right into his it. spine. And he <laughs> thumps to the ground. <laughs> the blast pushing him. Um, as that happens, Uzo sees that, waits like half second. Is he moving? No. Uzo's 5, 10, 15... 20 right into Colton's space. Uh, Colton is here. Oh, wait, where? Here. 20, 25. Would this be 30? Yeah, you could get. You I could go get to Remy's space. Yeah. I'll go there. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't provoke because this guy is, you never leave his five foot space. Yep. So it was in the thick right. of it, and he's staring them both down, and that's the end of his go. All right. Up next is Ruckus. The weakest looking one. I could use a hand over here. Yeah, that one. <laughs> into the water you go? You jump off the boat into he's the water? Not, he's into the water. The water. He's down. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> do, do, you have, do you have control of him yet? I still don't move my character. Oh, wait, 25 gets oh, you here. Oh, there he is. Okay, 25 there he gets is. you here. You got it? Yeah, I moved. I can move him now. Uh... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was moving my name specifically. Goodness gracious. Then, yes. I'm going to move him towards Andraste and try and attack the one closer to her. You're going to move there. Yeah? Did it move where you... There? there. Yeah. There. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a learning curve. I'll get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Roll 20 is a learning curve, though. Yeah. Okay. But yes, I'm going to actually go there and I'm going to attack the first one there. Closest one there. But I'm bump. Oh. <laughs> so that's 11. Do a reroll. Okay. Do a re -roll. Yeah, yeah, it's 11 total. All right, sweet. Who are you attacking? Uh, the one closest to Andraste. Okay. But the first roll was that, and then inspired, it was seven. Which is? Plus a nine, 16. There you go. 16 hits. Sweet. Plus the eight. I'm oh, you know, uh, actually, seven. right now, I dropped my shield, and I want to make it a 1d10. Oh. Okay. Okay. Still no booming blood. <laughs> 10 total. Nine? <laughs> 10. Yeah. In the second attack, still going to be two-handed. All right. All right. 19. No. <laughs> 22. I didn't say a thing. I saw the look. Yes. Uh, and then 1d10 again. Ooh. 9 plus 6. 15. Damage. Hacky slashy. Second attack. I hate you for hurting anyone I care about. <laughs> but don't tell them I care about them. <laughs> As he yells this right next to my ear, I just look at him like, so was, like at eleven. Like Twenty-five <laughs> damage. I think total. Yeah. All right, Twenty-five damage. This guy's not looking good at all. Still standing though. Uh. Hmm. Can uh, I? Wait, no. I didn't use the. Was the bonus action to attack? I was. No, it's just two attacks. Actions. Yeah. Okay. Bonus action. Oh. oh well. I don't have action surge in that bonus action. 
So you can still it's use other. a bonus action. I forgot. It's been a minute. So action surge is just a action. Just, it just gives you another action. Okay, it's under. Then uh, action surge to do it again. Lead with the booming blade. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> booming blade action. Oh, oh it's you're one rolling. D20. <laughs> yeah, it's one d twenty to hit. Oh, five plus a nine, fourteen. Does Fourteen plus Does the. I mean, we have the inspo. We should use it. I I, I vote we add a six. Yep. Mm. Rolling a d six. Thank you, team. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a one. <laughs> All right. So fifteen total. Yep. Yeah, fifteen total. Yeah, that's not going to hit. Ah. Mm. You can still bonus action. To attack. Yeah. Wait, this... no, is the bonus action to action surge? No. Or no, it's just other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then a work special thing that you can do. Been a minute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then yes. Bonus action to again attack on this one. Okay, cool. Uh t- dirty twenty. Plus the D ten. Yeah, that hits. Sweet. Oh, <laughs> seven. Yeah. yeah, that is seven. That is seven damage. Take that. Still Burst. standing. Oh, barely, but still standing. <laughs> I scream, "Take that!" And that's the end of my turn. Hey guys, maybe you can help me remember. I thought before we left a month ago um, that I explained that I wanted to keep you this guy alive because he was for um, Captain Thorn to kill. Yes. I believe and we had that discussion, all four of us. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uzo. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> Sorry. He, My he, man. He, he, he wants to keep Colton alive. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I mean, kill him. Sorry. I did. We did actually talk about it. It's not my go, though. In the previous though. session. I yeah, know, no. I know. I know. But we did talk about it in the previous session. Okay. Good thing I didn't kill him then. Indeed. <laughs> There's somebody on the other side of the ship that needs dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you've got quite enough range. No, nah, this is up close and personal, like. The one time. So, um, <laughs> Ruckus just went. It's the yeah. captain's go. Um... AOOs. One, two, three. Oh, it's the top of the round, so I take my heal. Thanks. Yeah, that's three attacks of opportunity if you guys want to do it. Yep. Plus four. Nice. I'm going to take mine. I'm going to take mine. I mean, don't get too confident there, buddy, because there's three attacks of opportunity. <laughs> and the plank is down. The plank is off the ship. Yeah, remember? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. It's got kicked yeah. off. No, it is not. It, wait, it was on the water. Like it, it's. Oh, it, the people have that have been working to put them back. There's a couple of guys there. I saw them moving closer, but I'm like, the, so. All right, here's here's my logic, Thomas. Right. So if I take the ship side plank and I just take it and shove it off, it the front end is in the it's in the water. It goes into the water. The plank is done. Yeah. Floating anyway. Floating. Well, no, probably sink. Yeah, it would. It would totally sink. Yeah, they didn't like push it back onto the dock. They kicked it off into the water. Mm. Both of them. All right. So I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you uh, that one and still in the water. Ruckus, you idiot! <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you three, take a tax of opportunity. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna fucking wield that spear. Uh, roll. I can't reach, but you can. One d twenty plus. Was it seven? This is on Barden Thor, or this is on uh, Colton. 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 Thank you. I thought you remembered Warren. Plus five. Yeah, I, don't, I really get to use my spear for eighteen. It's a hit. I clip that bastard. Yeah, yeah. it hits. Plus two. Oh, wait, nope. Jabs at him. Uh, 
<sighs> you have to do the slash man. I know. <laughs> Why isn't the script running? Oh, you forgot the slash. Seven. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Yeah. All right. And Ruckus. Go on. Attack From opportunity. Ah, uh, 1d20. Yes. Oh. Plus. No. Obi, no be. Yeah, pl- the, but 12, though. 12 is not. Is Plus, not re-roll that shit. Let's do a re-roll. Yes. Yes. I'm yes. down. Sweet. Re-roll it. Do it. Please, please say non-lethal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kill him, Ruckus. He, I mean, he's not gonna. Does one more do it? Do it, yeah, roll it. Let's see what you do. <laughs> that what is did. that it is. That's, that's so the, loud. Eleven's not gonna hit him. Thirteen. All right. Thirteen. Right. Yeah. Let me let me does, use mine. Let's does thirteen hit? Mine. Thirteen doesn't hit. Thirteen does not hit. Ah. Let me re-roll mine <sighs> if I can. If I can get two inspiration. Yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Fourth. We're all just tense. Why don't you shake your head at me? <laughs> there it is. There it is. With with sneak attack, non-lethal. Yep, because everyone's all right. That is that is gonna knock him down. Okay. So as he's going through, uh, as he's going through again, I was like, "Did you not learn?" <laughs> as he's passing me, same place, same right, area. The <laughs> Good night again. So yeah, so you knock him down and. <laughs> And he tumbles down the stairs a little bit and just splays out down underneath. Um, the guy next to you, Ruckus, at that point, uh, just is like, drops his scimitar and dagger. Oh, good. Easy prey. No. Do you uh, I will knock him out. And I'm pointing yeah. at the person who just dropped their sword. <laughs> so they use their turn to drop their shit. No, yeah? no, that no, that was uh, that was not their turn. Okay. Ruckus, are you done? Oh, that was the captain's turn. That was the captain's turn. Remy, so it should be me. Yeah. So after he goes falling down the stairs, I run after him. I yell at you guys to tie him. Um, just scream back, tie him if you can. And I run past him to go to the guy that was going to blow the ship. He was already gotten by. He, by yeah, by I him. killed him. Like oh, I thought he went down into the, no. the down he below did, the deck. Caught. Yeah, so That's this said, you tie him. You tie him to here. But wait, it's is like, he con- is he conscious? Oh, he's Sorry, dead. I, I thought there was a guy that went below deck, Tom. There no, was, this, this guy was gonna go. I caught him uh, with an eldritch blast in the spine, okay. and he collapsed. He needed to get he's down a, that deck. He's not a walker anymore. Yeah, he's a faller. Okay, <laughs> so pretty much everyone, but. This guy? No, that's Colton. Um, He's down. Okay, Colton is down. It's so we got so one, just this guy. This two, one. and three. And then the guy's on the dock. Oh, this guy's up too. He, the, nobody is looking well at all. Um, on their turn, they're this guy's they dropping are, his sword. Yeah. On their turn, what, Thomas? Well, uh, I mean, I guess we'll get there. Yeah, so, sorry. I'm. I just want to see yeah. if they're there. There are two up still not. up. There are two still up. There's also another guy on the other side of the ship. Yeah. Okay. So we're still on initiative. Yeah. Remy, it's your go. Are you going to tie Colton up, who's splayed out at the bottom, or are you going to attack the one that's up here? You mean this Next. guy? Yep. Um. Yeah. I will say after I did that, I will say to tie him up. Um. And then I will turn to this guy. Uh, and without a word, I will just dispatch him. Just right in front of the, the others, just come up to him and try and slash at his neck. See if I can. Um, I'd like to use um, Winthorpe for the help action. OK. Just comes in, lands right next to me on the shoulder, and go up. Uh, 2d20, keep higher one. He has two hit points. Hit. So, there it is. That 20. <laughs> oh, nice. What? Yes. That's over. <laughs> yeah. I want to say that I, I take out his, his throat and his head just kind of hangs off in blood and then falls. Uh, 
succeed on a saving throw. Hmm. Like the tendons by his neck saving throw? <laughs> <laughs> and as, as he falls down dead, I look back over my shoulder at the other guy who's dropping his sword. And I say, they'll still need some crew to get this ship out of here. Perhaps the ones that surrender deserve a second chance. Even though they're mutineers. We will decide their fate together with the captain. Six seconds is up. Whose turn is it, Thomas? Yep. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fine. It is Andraste's turn. The All guy right. uh, next to you has dropped his, his weapons. We'll look at him, just like keeping a close eye on him as I move away. Because if he's going to attack me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to snap back at him. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, basically. I'm going to go up to the, the rail. That was the word I'm looking for. And get it, get it, get a, an assessment for who's coming up. All right. So uh, looking, so there are three individuals that are on the docks, um, and a number. Uh, all of the others that went into the uh, into the village to actually go and uh, find Bardenthorn are out still in the village searching as the light is coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't seem to be aware of what's happening on the ship, except for the three that are uh, coming up. Do I deal with them? <laughs> yes, Warren. <laughs> oh, you could totally deal with them. <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty easily. All right. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. I am limping. I'm bleeding. I'm exhausted, and just, I just like look down at them with this exhausted look, and just cast fireball in at a at a, at a point where it'll catch the three of them uh, at third level. <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> And those they are need to make saves. Those are catch a little bit of attention. You know what? <laughs> We've dealt with the problem on the ship. We need to pull them back to the ship anyway. So and shots have gone off. Basically, yeah. yeah. So that they is a... their ash. Yeah, one of their first actions was to shoot a pistol. Yeah. No, it was, was a, a no, it was a crossbow. crossbow. There's been it's no gunshots. Deck no? saving throw DC sixteen. All right. Uh, two of them that look like bandits make it. And one of them that looks like a priest did not. All right. So the priest takes 29 damage and the other two take 14. I was gonna cast a fireball. Say <laughs> hey, what? That, so the priest, you looking back and you see his hands gesturing um, a very familiar counter spell. Uh, no, he was going to cast fireball, but you uh. just blow him up and he <laughs> dies because he failed. Uh, mm -hmm. And that so 14 on a 14 on the succeeded. <sighs> All right. And I'm just gonna like lean on the rail and look down at them and say, your captain has been captured. Surrender and, and we'll be merciful. So after this like explosion goes off, um, one of them falls down and he looks over at the priest next to him, back up at you and they both kind of surrender. One of them just falls into the water, just like <laughs> <laughs> gonna get put out. Um, and oh. Uh, and at that point, you also hear a splash from the front of the boat as this guy gets the hell out of here and leaps into the water. We, ha we, we, we have two over here who have surrendered. And it's Uzo's go. 
Uh, it, it, well, so this guy, his weapons are on the ground, and uh, this one, and yeah. he sees you left. He's looking at Ruckus. Yeah, and he just he just stands there. He's like, I'm done. Sorry. He, he, didn't, he didn't take an attack of opportunity on me, so he did not. <laughs> and he was he was about to jump off the ship and probably broken his legs <laughs> on the, uh, the dinghy. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He did wait. it. He did He, like, took, like, half a step and leaned over and is like, ah, oh, I can't jump into the water. As he sees <laughs> Uzo walk up behind him closer and closer with two Eldritch Blasts, you should have taken your chances. And he casts two Eldritch Blasts at the guy. All right. That's a 23. <laughs> for, and a 19. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to roll so, these uh, all together. Roll just for flavor. 2D. 10. Plus 10. Plus 10. 28 points of damage. Yeah, that's enough. And <laughs> just the, the Eldritch energy. <laughs> and he goes blasted flying over and landing in your thingy. <laughs> Just breaking his back at the end. Uzo rocks up to Ruckus, pats him on the back. What? What took you so long? That was awesome. <laughs> Can you do it again? I was saving it for you, but you stand there like you wanted, like he asked you a math problem or something. <laughs> I, I, don't you question me. I give you a compliment. <laughs> All right. Well, if the captain gives us any lip, he joins his fate. Let's see how the others are doing. I don't think he's going to walk again. That's hilarious. <laughs> and then I walk away. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> um, so uh, with that, all of the immediate threats are dispatched. Um, you do see um, torches off in the distance still searching the village. Um, but right now, you are in command of the Chimera. And that is where we're going to leave it off for tonight. Mm. To pick it up Aww. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, next week. <laughs> <laughs> You're too used to Salt Marsh, my friend. Yeah, I know. Salt Marsh, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow. <laughs> and it'll be the final, final pro uh, enemy version, too. Yes. I also, also known colloquially and lovingly as Return to Akuparo. <laughs> <laughs> Our one Excellent. shot will we will return to the one shot. The the one shot that's turned into a nine shot. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. It's so the first show. campaign ever. Yeah. So thank you guys uh for joining us on this. Uh thank you all for the bits. Um we really oh appreciate it. really gonna get us through uh, a panthrope for your uh massive donation. Seriously. Uh, that thank is you. amazing. Um our you know uh our usuals, thank you so much. Um, you know, Rav Starburner, Tamago Tora, half the Baroness. There are so many. I, I am thank you. going we, to uh, miss you, and I'm sorry. Um, I love you guys. King, thank you for all of the bits as well. Um, Seriously. Actually, you know what? So many bits. I am here. Congrats, Andrea, the Burbs, Ebrus. Um, exclamation point. Birds in the chat. Uh, you can pre-order some dice. Uh, let's hope Beautiful manufacturing dice. gets up and going. Uh, that's going to be awesome. Um, Chlorel with 500 bits. I clearly uh, spelled their name wrong or announced their name <laughs> wrong earlier. Uh, Tragic Mustache donated 245 bits. Not, not, not quite. Thank you, Alan. That much. Thank you know. You. So I, I actually go and I watch ads for bits because I'm cheap, and then I give them to people. So. <laughs> I'm like, here's 100 bits. Sorry. Yeah, congrats on your faux win, yeah. now win Demon Kitty. But you know, tomorrow maybe you'll win again. And yes. uh, Kanambudra, you know, <laughs> whatever that name was, yeah. we couldn't pronounce. Yeah. Uh, Duke League, thank you uh, for the bits. Stay inside. Yes. <laughs> Do it. They say you're a hero by gaming. Yeah. 24 squeal the, squeal the Bard with. Um, I've been a hero this whole time. <laughs> right? You know what? Uh, so there was another Squeal the Bard uh, one in there. Actually, I got that one. 508 bits? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, and and of course Ren Camo. So our dear Big sweet thanks. Yes. 
thank you so much. Um, this has been a crazy month. Um, this has been a crazy month for all of us. I am. Um, March has been approximately three, three years long. 2020 was supposed to be the summer of George. It was supposed to be our year. <laughs> it was supposed to be the year of the crit, damn it. <laughs> but here we are. Yeah, the Earth is critted one. against us. Yeah, for yeah, sure. We got crit for sure. Boy. I, love the, I love the airplane meme of like, 2018 coming up and slapping the woman. And then just, it's just 2020, 2020 after that, just slapping. <laughs> so good. One of those is Leslie Nielsen. I liked when he like slaps it, then right yeah. before he leaves, he gives like another goodbye slap. <laughs> 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 oh, chef, oh, so quality. good. Quality. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is insane. Tomorrow is going to be pretty insane uh, for Amy. Her you know call time is 5 a.m. Mm. It's now taken from, you know, the the home office. It doesn't have to go in, but it's still is that Lauren? It's like it is Lauren. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh so, yeah, so and so tomorrow will be fun. Tomorrow will be a lot of fun. Tomorrow will be great. Yes. Uh, and we will wrap up Salt Marsh. And then Saturday with Call of Cthulhu. Uh, that's going well. <laughs> you guys are you fleed it you fled another town that you may or may not be able to go back to <laughs> well we don't, have the, we, we don't have the authorities after us this time we can't go back to new york but we can go back to london maybe probably and delta green i think is probably going to go burn down all of the pyramids they're going to try mean, anyway I, I am in way. favor of them carpet bombing to find nidocris i am okay with this <laughs> That's nice. Cthulhu for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's the cleanest so, uh, method. Nice. And thank you for following here on Twitch. We have over 2,000 followers. That's awesome. Um, we have su subscribers. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Patreons. That's awesome. Thank you. Subscribing over on YouTube. Thank you for that as well. And um, the podcast as well. And What's up? We also, on Monday, we've got Carbon... 2185 coming back yeah. flying we car do. funkadelics i cannot without wait. aaron i oh, cannot yeah. wait to bring back for my the first episode yeah, yeah, yeah. aaron is out for the first one and Who taking his how. place is ezra Ooh. and then aaron is back for the second one Who follows knows how long long guest for the third Who knows? <laughs> it's gonna be exciting Who knows? Who knows? intriguing what were you saying? What were you trying to plug, Aaron? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, my only add-on was, who knows what could happen on Carbon thing, Cyberpunk. <laughs> 2185. I am so... Success. Uh, I can sense his okay. uh, disappointment. Cut and print. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to sense it. Just look at his expression. <laughs> yeah. I'm Go bored. home. Get some rest. <laughs> Stay home. Get some rest. I'm home. Stay I'm home. I'm upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, I have to go home. It's I mean it is like A, this place is is probably safer than being at home. So because <laughs> no it's one's so much in the industrial There's, park. Yeah. But nobody is around. So uh we, I will be coming here as long as I'm allowed to and not be stopped. Because the internet's way better. So it's <laughs> better all around. Word. All right, so thank you guys so much. We'll be back here tomorrow Woot. for another giveaway. Thank you to you guys, and we'll see you then. Oh, I have to click a button. Yeah. Nope. nope. Are, are, are we going to go raid anyone? We should raid somebody. Yeah, we should totally raid. 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 Have you ever had ants? <laughs> you know because this is how you get in this is how you get in <laughs> uh a whole a whole a whole please do to do uh you guys Holding. talk amongst yourselves okay. oh, i saw please. fifth element no oh, <laughs> final okay. fucking okay. lead man. okay what i do saw you think? the reference oh i loved it oh my god Oh, yeah. It's man. such a good film. I need to watch it again. I it's seen... worthy of everyone's collection. It Everyone took so have it. long, Aaron. Holy fuck, man! <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen Breakfast Club, and that's older. I think. You need so... to watch it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Spider-Man: Homecoming already tried to rip that up, and I know not well. I haven't well, seen that but... one either. I'm just saying. Nice. All right, all right everybody. We're we are going to raid uh, Perception Studio. They've raided us in the past. Send them some love. 
um, stay for 10 minutes or as long as you can stay awake. That's, mm -hmm. that's my plan. Thanks. The so fun um, is the challenge. Tonight. Yes, exactly. All right, everybody. Good night. Thank good you night. guys. And ignore that we will return shortly.